What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob and Melanie are going to be playing Spirit Island. Right there, right there, right here, right there. We're going to be playing some Spirit Island. We're playing co-op. This is Mel's probably like third, fourth time playing, maybe. Yeah, like fourth. Uh, <clears throat> uh -oh. oh. I'm getting errors here. Is it okay for you guys? Are you guys getting buffering at all? YouTube's giving me, giving me trouble. Well, that's an older message. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, we're going to play some co-op. I'm just going to wait a couple minutes for people to show up and YouTube to stop yelling at me saying uh, they might be buffering. Yeah, thanks for those who are joining us live. We appreciate that. I know it's a little... A little weird time than I usually stream. Usually I stream afternoon Eastern time, which is good for Europe. But obviously, when Mel is home in the evening after work, that doesn't work for everybody in time zones. We can't always get it, I know. Uh, but the good thing is, it's always archived and you can watch later. Hey, John's hey, John. here. How's it going, John? <clears throat> uh, some people probably like it too, right? Because if you stream all day, maybe some people can't watch it. So yeah, no, these I, kind I, of streams I are good every now and again. Yeah, I agree. It's good to change up the time, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I don't know. John, are you getting buffering on your end? Uh, I'm just seeing like errors here on YouTube and it's like telling me I'm having trouble, but it looks okay in the streaming app. So I don't, I don't know, might be faulty. It seems like an older message. It's from like right when we started. Yeah, that's looks good. Yeah, I think it's fine now. I think it's, okay, thank you, Sai. Oh, perfect, okay. I think it's just when we started there was some buffering and so we like panicked and it's just it got this big like yellow error mm -hmm. staring at us. But anyways. <laughs> looks fine. All, All right. right. Well, let us know if it changes. Yeah, <laughs> let us know if there's issues and I'll go around and unplug everything. We'll reboot. No, I'm just joking. Uh, but we should be okay. All right. Uh, this is for you, uh, for you to play with. Uh, okay. okay. So we are playing Spirit Island. Uh, we're going to try some spirits here that... Uh, I've only played this guy once. I tried him yesterday. Uh, Mel's playing, so I'm playing, sorry, Spread of Rampant Green. He's a moderate. I was going to play him in the last live stream, just ran out of time, never got to it playing him solo. But we're going to try him here co-op. Tried him yesterday co-op. Mel also tried out the Thunder Speaker yesterday. And she's played a few different spears. Probably mm -hmm. played like three or four times. She's kind of getting the hang of the game. So we're not playing with a scenario or an invader right now. But we're still playing that you buy your cards and all, and the Healthy Island little card here is that. But we still only have the core set, uh, Branch and Claw, coming soon. Um, but yes, so we are just going to play a two-player co-op game here uh, with Shadows Flicker Like Flame and the Spread of Rampant Green. And we got all set up here. We have our uh, four fear per player. I got my little fear token here I used to remind myself when fear cards need to be resolved by putting it on the Ravage spot or whatever to remind me. It's just something I like doing. Uh, so we get four blight per player on this healthy island card. If this removes, it flips over to some other bad news thing on the other side that's going to happen to us every round. Uh, but it's random in the core set out of two different cards. I don't know which one is there. Obviously, you're not supposed to look. Um, I've set up the deck here for the invaders. We got the jungle is where they explored to start on the setup. Uh, and you get to set up three uh, of your presents. That's pretty cool. Yes, I do. I like that guy a lot. It's just been a while since I played him. But all the fear stuff. Love that stuff in this game. The spread of rampant green, I'm going to warn you, he's not my play style. He's cool. I like what he's doing, but I don't. Uh, it's not my spirit of choice for sure at this moment. Uh, and I apologize if I play him very inefficiently. I see he's like obviously being moderate. He's a little more like backwards thinking. Um, but yeah, playing that expert fear one, he was really cool. But, so uh, why did you pick this if, if, you're, if you're not a fan? Because I just want to try. I want to oh. try them all. I just want to, I want to get a dabble into all and, and see them run. And, and it's great when you do it on video because people will let us know. And when you're doing it live, people will let you know like strategies and stuff. But the cool part is people commenting later watching us on YouTube will, will point things out. And I'm totally okay with that. I'm never offended. Never offended. I love the help. I love pointing out things I'm not seeing and stuff. Um, but yeah, I just want to try them all and, and, and get a feel for them, especially... Uh, I like trying all the stuff in a game, usually all the characters, because then when I'm teaching somebody, uh, like a new player comes over and I want to show them the game, it's like I, I, I'm a little bit knowledgeable at least with every, in this case, spirit in the game that I can kind of like 
know their play style in other yeah, games. Yeah, so then you can re I recommend. Yeah, I can be like, all right, well, I know you like playing like this guy in Gloomhaven. So based on that style, you might like playing this spirit in this game just because of a similar like theme or play style or whatever. But if I don't play them, I, I have no clue. And then it's yeah. like I'm lost. Adam's here. Hey, Adam, how's Hi, it going? Adam. <clears throat> yes, John, that's the feeling I got. Re like playing with his abilities, he doesn't seem like a strong solo spirit. I still want to try it out solo, but... Uh, you like the challenge. <laughs> yeah, I do like the challenge. I like playing this game solo. It's really cool. Um, okay, so I think we're okay to get started. Uh, I'm pretty sure everything's set up. I got my fear pile set up three each for each level of fear. Uh, I think I covered everything on the board. So we got a Dahan here, right? A Dahan here. Uh, we got a town here, city here, two Dahan here, and a Blight. And we got nothing in this spot. Nope. And then over on your side, uh, two to Han. And we got a town. And this one's nothing. We got a blight and a Dahan here. On there, two Dahan. One here, one Dahan, one city. Mm -hmm. Always double check. I'm known to miss things. Yep, that looks good. <laughs> We're good, Adam. How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> well, he already said good. I always say that. People are like, how are you doing? I'm like, good. How are you? Wait. <laughs> good solo, too. <laughs> Thanks. Awesome. Okay. So I don't know if these, these spirits are a pair. I've heard people mention on previous videos in comments and stuff about like which spirits, some spirits pair together well and like cover each other's weaknesses. And I don't know like um, if these pair well, but we'll, we'll find out. It's we'll part of the out. fun. So we're, we're kind of noobs to Spirit Island. I've played it a bunch now. So I think I'm, a, I'm pretty like versed in it, I think, but I still haven't tried every spirit or I've only played one invader. Um, so yeah, I haven't really tried too much, but. I feel like this is the kind of game that you play one time and you kind of go, oh, okay, I get it. And you play again. And then you, as you play, you start developing strategies. Every time I play this, I fall more in love with it. I'm super <laughs> addicted to this game. I love it. I love this freaking game. I think game. you say so that good. every time we play. I know. He, like, we finish and then he's I, like, I, I love I'll, this I'll game. set it all up and I'm like, yeah, I've played this before. I'll, I'll try it again. And I try Spirit. Or like just the way the fear cards come out or the way things reveal out of here. And like certain powers you get from the deck. I'll play the game and I'll just be like, that felt so different than the last time I played. I love it. I just love it. It's awesome. Or that feeling of you think you're going to lose. Yes. You're like, oh my I God, feel that I'm all the time. Lose, I stress out. Like mid game, I'm always stressing out. I'm like, too much white plastic on the board. I'm freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. What are we going to do? And then also I'm like, oh, we won. Oh, oh okay. We, all the cities are gone. Oh, okay. We won. Or Have you lost a game of this? Uh, no. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think Knock so. Knock on wood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe when I was first dabbling with it, when I first cracked it out, I don't. I don't think so because when I first cracked out of the box, I was playing with like beginner. They recommend the beginner oh, the spirits easy, yeah, yeah. and that easy mode card that gives you like your powers in a certain order. Yeah. And it it kind of and and you're not playing with like this card and stuff, so it's just that kind of like handholds you. Yeah, and I played that like two or three times. I tried each spirit in that mode, trying their little card of powers, and then I was like, I just kept crushing it. Cause, but I think it's because they were feeding me things, and it was very easy mode. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't think I did. Maybe I lost that Invader level three. I don't think so. I think I did okay in that stream uh, with the Thunder Speaker. I think I was playing. Hmm. But she's awesome. I love Thunder Speaker. She's one of my favorites. All right. All right. Enough rambling on. I think we got some people here. We're good to go. The error disappeared. Okay. Uh, so, first things first. Uh, we can do this simultaneously. But the cool thing with Spe Spread of Rampant Green, uh, just for him. I've played him in stream before. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this guy. He's a beginner guy. Yeah. But he's all focused on like some offense. He's got this whole fear. He's He likes fear. Creating fear, that's his jam. Yep, I like that part of the game. I know you do. That's why I figured you like playing that one. Uh, and this is Mel's first time with it, if I didn't say it already. So with she's, this one, yes. Yeah, don't, don't be too harsh. Uh, <laughs> but give me strategy tips. I'm always <laughs> yeah, welcome yeah. to it. <laughs> uh, there is like a 10-second delay, though, guys. So just, uh, yeah, still playing with training wheels, exactly. But now, I, I think we're not, but like the optional invader and scenario stuff. I think the scenario just messes with rules, but the invader like ups the challenge, mm. I'm pretty sure. Uh, we'll but have to I, play some, through some of that. Yeah, we'll definitely mix in invaders more as we go on with the game. But, uh, yeah, you're definitely going to be winning by fear most likely. Right, says Ryan. Hey, Ryan, how's it going? Yes, he's already uh, playing. Let's go, back. he says. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so the spread of rampant green <clears throat> has this cool thing where it can always put out a presence on a jungle or wetlands up to two range away from where I have presence. And then you get to pick one of these things. So it's like. It feels it's not, broken. No, it's not like it... Well, because yours only has like two things in each section. So yes, I have the same. It feels broken. But there are some guys that have like three things in one section, three things yeah, in another. Yeah, So all this is is like a third thing in every section. Yes, it is more things. It's awesome. But being able to clear these off. 
Yeah, that's his thing. That's his Huge. thing is just like getting these all on the board because they get destroyed. I can destroy them to stop like a ravage or a build from happening. And as long as this isn't on the blight side, I don't have to pay an energy to do that, uh, to bring them back. So I can, I can always optionally choose instead of pulling one of these off the board, especially if they're all gone, I can take them out of the destroyed um, presence pile that'll be beside the board and I can put them back out that way. But it does cost an energy if we're on the bladed side. So I really, really, really don't want this to happen. And I do think I have cards that remove blight. No, I don't. But I will look for them, actually. That's what I've been doing. That's what I did yesterday with him. I tried to grab a card that A, had my elements, but also one that removed blight to try to keep this here. Yeah. And then I was able to just keep destroying my things, bring them back on, destroying them again, and kind of like collect the trouble into one zone. And then I keep destroying presence to stop it from ravaging like when it when it actually fires off that was the strategy i used with him and it seemed to work pretty well okay. um it, i suck at explorer damage uh, as this rampant guy and it, it hurts it hurts a lot when you get to watch these explorers just build and it's like tensing me out because like i can't really do much about it but i can damage towns and cities and i can defend Oh, yeah, remove Blight. I can remove Blight on this ability, but that's, like, later in the yeah, game. Yeah, that's further in. But I usually I grab a card that helps me do it. And that's why I thought I had one, but then I looked. I'm like, oh, no, that was a card I got early in the last one. I kept doing it over and over. Um, okay. Uh, and yours is Shadows of the Dahan. Whenever you'd use a power, you may pay one energy to target a land with the Dahan, regardless of the power's range. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then your fast power here, moons and fire and air, gather, gather Dahan, or gather explorers. Destroy explorers, fear for explorers. Oh, you should get fear for destroying explorers. I have fear on everything. Fear, fear, fear. Yeah, I love that guy. I so just haven't played I. him in so long. Like, he was what I played when I first got into the game. He was the first of the starters that I was like, yeah, this is awesome. But I also like the bird guy, the, the lightning one, too. He's awesome. Okay. Uh, always take from a card first as it makes you stronger. Oh, obviously, yes. I would totally take off here first. But you, I do have the option, once they're gone, I mean, I can do it earlier, but obviously I would do it grabbing from here if I ran out here. So yes. that's kind of cool. I get rid of these fast, and then I just cycle them on the board. Um, awesome. Okay, so uh, I will take a presence off. I think I want to get resources first. Uh, so I'm going to uncover the top row of my presence here. And... And I know we do this simultaneously, but do you want to do it one yeah, at a time just for... Yeah, we'll just discuss. We'll, we'll discuss. We'll try to be very open with it. In the book, it does very much recommend, like, table talk is, like, a key thing. You will lose if you don't do it. So we'll talk it out. And we're playing on video. So, like, obviously, when you're normally playing this game, it'll be a lot quicker than the stream is. Every now and then, there's always someone that comments later, like, why did it take you two plus hours to play Spirit Island? Well, it's like, come on, man. I played two playthroughs, and I chat with the chat and explain everything I'm doing. Obviously, if you're playing by yourself you know, in, in your room quietly. You're just going to race through it, right? But table talk is huge. Yes, yeah, right. Yes. Yes, it is. I agree. And it's part of the fun of this game is like trying to get the puzzle to work together and solve this mess on the board. I love it. Because sometimes when we play, we don't even talk and then we just like, oh, that worked out. <laughs> yeah, because we kind of just monitor just our know. own. Like, I know it's only for setup that this is my map tile and that's yours. Or if we're like arguing over some kind of like resolution of some ability, it's like, Where's this blight going to spread over here? No, I want to hear. No, I want to hear. It's like, well, it's my my setup tile. I will. It's my map map section. I will move it where I want. Um, but yeah, we do that sometimes where we're just quiet. We're just like looking at it. We're so into our cards and abilities. We're like, okay. We're creating these little engines among ourselves. And then we, we put it all out. And then we're like, then we're like, okay, I got this covered. You got that covered. Oh, we don't got that covered. Okay, let's back to the drawing board. Let's figure this out. But yeah, this is awesome. Uh, so... I am thinking here, jungle is going to be the next problem. That's all we know right now. So mm -hmm. jungle, they're going to build and they'll eventually attack. So my thing is if I can get at least two presents there before they ravage, I might be able to stop them from ravaging. Um, and I have ways to help you get presents out faster, which may happen. And I have ways of getting my own presents out faster off my card too. Uh, but yeah, you rip through fear and we'll try to keep them. You destroy explorers when you can to stop them from building. And if they do build, I can try to push around towns, destroy towns best I can. Um, okay. So I want to get presents. Basically, I'm thinking jungle, um, and it could be up to two spaces away. So I'm feeling like here. Mm. No, I'm going to do it here. Actually, where's my defend card? Do I have a defend? Oh, defend's here, up to two away from where I have. Okay, I'll just put it here. So that way I have a sacred site somewhere. 
and then if I get my all enveloping green defense, it has to be one up to one away from where I have a sacred site. Uh, maybe not there. I want to do it down here. Yeah, let's do that. Jungle, which is up to two away from where I have presence, which is either of those spots. Mm -hmm. And then my other one I'm going to take is the add another presence. Mm, extra plants is a thing. I think I'll do the at that. I'll remove another presence and I'll get to play one extra card this turn, which means I can only play two cards. Uh, and I'll put one here. Okay. And then I get one resource. You get. Well, I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do this because. Uh, so yeah, right I now you get no energy. You can play one card. One and the card. only card I can play that's cost nothing is this one, which yeah, is... But, but what you probably should do is just remove a presence, get two cards going, and then if you they're expensive or not... Oh, they're only cost... They're only cheap, but right now... But yeah. you you maybe go for this one, up to three presents away, get some money. Yeah. It removes this one off so you can play two cards and you'll have three bucks to work with. And the so. next amount, I'll take that one. Yeah. So this one that's can go... I, that's what I would think, but I'm not 100% on that. Bernardo is here. But you're definitely not picking... Oh, where is he coming from today? Let's see. Greetings from Arakeen having spiced tea with Leto and Paul. I don't know what that means. <laughs> but he always has something funny and it's like always different. <laughs> That's funny. He's going to run out of stuff eventually. No, he's no, he's not. Like this. He's, he's got like an, a Rolodex. He's like going through. He's like, what's today? What's on? Or he's got a calendar <laughs> up beside his, his computer or whatever in his room. He's like. What's today's excuse? Uh, what's today's location? He has like one written in for all every day of the year. Well, we're all having tea <laughs> with you, Bernardo. Yes, literally, <laughs> we are having tea. Okay, so. Leto and Paul. Mm, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that he was like, going to go to that. No, no. <laughs> okay, so this can go up to three spaces away, and I kind of want to put it somewhere here. So that I can... Well, look at your powers. So this one needs to be uh, within one from a sacred site. So oh. if you build a sacred site somewhere that's kind of in the middle of a bunch of locations, like right now you have one. Yeah. And actually we're not going to pile them on just for video. So keep all your presents like oh, laid sure. down separate sure. so everyone knows like how much is there. But this sacred site covers one, two, three, four and itself. Yeah, that's what but I'm But if you can like, like plop it somewhere else in the center that like covers a whole bunch of other ones around it, you're... That's the only one that matters. But look, all your stuff's like range zero. It's short range, but you have this whole thing, Dahan. You can bypass all this crappy range if you, if things are where Dahan are. Yep. Oh, so. from Dune. See, I have Dune downloaded. And it's something I've been meaning to watch for like the last ten years because everyone talks about the Dune board game. And uh, yeah, I heard about Dune like when I was growing up and stuff all the time, but I never watched really? it. It's like an old sci-fi movie that kind of like bombed when it released, but then had like a cult following, and people just like love it nowadays. I think it's like this like holy thing. It's like I started watching it like five minutes in. I was like, this this is kind of silly. I'll watch this later. I wasn't in the mood for is it, it. But Would I like it or no? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> it's like old. It's it's like from the 80s, I think, right? Or late 70s. Okay. The Spice. <laughs> they all know all these things. Yeah, they no, know. Just we don't know. But it's like the Dune the board game, and then they just rebooted Dune the board game. So I'm like, ah, now I really got to go watch the movie so I really understand what the game is about. That's why I like sometimes board games. The Dune books are awesome. I've heard that too, John. Oh, I've heard that too. You just got to go watch it so you know what Bernardo's talking about. Yeah, well, <laughs> what a lot of people are talking about. The book, the, the first is the okay. best. Read the books. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So scra skip the movie? Okay, good to know. <laughs> I like books. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to choose here. So that's less than three. That's fine. And then I will gain three energy. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take those because I'll be spending some. Okay. All right. So now we go to card play. RA says the books are great. But a bit but dry. A bit dry. Mm. Oh. Some eh. books are dry. That's okay. As long as you know that going in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So I can play two cards. All right. So. Uh, so I have an ability, I can damage some buildings, but it doesn't do much early. Oh, slow, slow, it. slow. Everything's slow. I don't even know what to do here. I only have one money. One money. That's all you got is one money? Yeah.
Okay. Sorry. No, take your time. Take your time. No These rush. These aren't really like helpful right now, so I don't. That's even know. I know. It's especially when nothing's like really ravaging or, or going crazy. But remember, builds are happening. If you have some way of moving explorers off the jungles or killing them, especially quick, we're good. But if you play some slow powers that are going to kill some explorers after, once we see the next card come out, we can target where there's builds happening and kill those explorers in the slow phase, and that'll help nothing get built and nothing ravage later. So. If you start thinking ahead, even though we don't know the next card, it won't be jungle. I can promise you that. But it'll be one of the other three um, that aren't there. And one is missing from the game. Oh, okay. In this little pile, which we don't know. One of each level gets removed every game. So yeah, sometimes yeah. sometimes you don't have the coastal card come up, for right. example. Things John like that. John says, rub your special thing is getting presents out. Did you do that? Uh yeah. No, no, I know that's my jam. Oh, okay. I'm also gonna help you get some out. This oh, target okay. is another oh, okay. player. Uh, or another, yeah, another player, so I can help you get some spirit up to one away, or one present, sorry, up to one away from where you have presents. Yeah, that was a cool thing about this guy. That was the one thing I liked when I played him yesterday was getting this whole board, like, clear so fast. Like, all my tokens were in place so quickly. And that was super cool to have everything uncovered, have the extra plant, tons of cards played later. Like, I can play, like, four cards, but it takes a little while to get there. He's a little slow going. Okay. At the, at the beginning. Oh, Fear City. Okay. Yeah. So, fast powers. Uh, I do have one here, Gift of Proliferation. I also have a Defend that I could do because I have one water and one, two, three plant. But there's no Ravaging happening right now, oh, so I... we're not worried about Defense. But just saying that I have it. So, I can let you... So, look at your abilities. Look at what's happening. I Right now, in the fast, I can target you, and you can add a Presence uh, to one land uh, up to one range away from where you have Presence existing. Or on a space you already have Presence if you want to make a Sacred Site. So ever is better for you based on what we know right now. This one. Okay. Okay. So then I have a fast power. I played two moons and a fire. Beauty. So I can fast power so range one of a sacred site. I can gather. So a target land that is within one range away where you have a sacred site or a land where you have a sacred site. Yeah. Which I want to do this and push it or like gather it somewhere else, right? Like I can gather it to here. Yeah. You target the land and then you gather, gather yeah. into it. Yeah. So let's do, we bank on mountain or sand? Well, getting out of a jungle, we just know it's not going to build, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Leading. Probably putting it where there is Dahan to fight it back if it does ravage or whatever, and somewhere close where you know you can handle it. Is... Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. That's all our fast powers? That's all the fast ones, because uh, I didn't play three yet. Okay, so we'll go to the invaders. There's obviously no blighted item effect. There's no fear cards ready. Jungles are going to build... Uh, so we do have a guy down here building. We have a guy up here building. And nobody home here. But nope. this guy's going to build, and he's going to build a town because there's no not more towns and cities yet. So, uh, All right. And on to whoosh, slide it over. We'll do explore in the sand. Sand is where right. things are going to be next, the problem. So now thinking with your slow powers, if you can either A, stop the jungle guys from ravaging next turn. So this guy's going to come from one of these adjacent towns. Mm -hmm. This guy obviously comes from the city here, no problem. And then this one here is going to come out of, let's see, this adjacent one. And then down here, there's already a town. Ari says, oh man, I love Spirit Island so much. So do you. <laughs> yes, that's, we were just talking about that. I'm so in love with the game. I'm still, like even just the core set, I know a lot of people it's, have had it for a couple of years and they've already had expansions and Kickstarter stuff, but this is new to me. I've only had it for like, I don't know, whatever, a month or two. I, don't, I can't remember when I got it. Oh, the holidays. I got yeah. it the holidays. Um, we didn't so start a month and a bit. Right yeah, we didn't start playing right away, but. Uh, yeah, just every time I play it, I just like love it more and more, especially at solo. I love it multiplayer, like trying different spirit combinations. Ugh, so we do good. need to try a three or four player though of it. I would love to see like, a bigger map that you're trying to control. I was control. trying to get Chelsea to play it today. Like, <laughs> our, our 10 year old daughter, I was like, come on, Chelsea, look at all the pretty colors. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I think she'll, she could probably figure it out. With some help for sure. Yeah. We do one of the basic ones, give her the card that shows the, uh, powers in order. And so she doesn't have to like analysis paralysis over the deck and yeah we'll see it might be too much though all right moving on to slow power uh yes yeah because invader cards already moved over and slow powers all right yeah ryan likes how much it scales yeah yeah it seems cool uh like very well, well designed very well designed uh so i have a slow power of here i could uh how many i got one moon i could do one damage 
to a town or a city in a place where I have presence. But if you can't add any damage on top of that, it's not doing anything. Well, what I can do is I can give this to you, possibly, or I could take it for this one. But two fear and then target spirit. So you or I may push uh, one explorer, explorer and, one, and, one town. and one town from a land where they have presence. So we could do it here, So you here, push or out here. of either A, in a jungle where it's going to ravage yeah. next. Or yeah. you could push out an explorer from a sand place that's going to... And, oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to... Well, you pick... A spirit, target spirit may push. Yeah, so I mean, either me or you, but I'm saying that we could do it in this one, this one, or this one to be able to get maximum benefit. So if, if we pushed out of here, there's no fight. If we push out of here, this one's probably the best right now from what I see on this part because uh, we both have presence here, and if they ravage and none of us can defend, there's no Dahan to fight them back at all, so they'll still be chilling there. Uh, they're going to hit the land for three. That'll add blight. That destroys your presence, destroys my presence. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's one. Here, uh, I was thinking of defending there because I. that's, oh, why, okay. that's okay. why I put sacred yeah. and have a Dahan there. So my plan is to use my defend power if I can. I don't even know if I have what I need. Uh, yeah, I do on my other two cards if I can play them even. Uh, I might not be able to play two cards unless I... Oh, I see. Yeah, I have yeah, to do you... this one. Because oh. I, I still have to get two more presents off to even play two cards. So if I do this, play two cards, I can do the defend two here, which helps keep the Dahan alive. Then he fights back. So that's possible. Okay, so that one's okay. But again, the problem is I don't have the money for that because I need two. So yeah, I'm kind of stuck. But So we might not defend. So this might be a problem where they just kill the Dahan. So I don't know. John says, as a rule, when pushing, push to a post. Oh. Why? Like push to the water? Like into the coastal lands? I have the first expansion. It adds good stuff worth it. I read somewhere that the designer planned the game and then downsized it in Kickstarter. Thus, the game was with the first equals the original. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, oh. I, I can see that. In the rule book, even, it talks about stuff from the expansion. There's more than one expansion for this game? Uh, they're working on another expansion that's coming. I don't know when Jagged Earth is supposed to come out. Okay, but so there's the Branch and Club, then there's something no, else. No, we know you can't push into the water, that's for sure. But John's just saying push to the coast. Do you mean like any outside area or like physically coastal lands? <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Okay, well you had... Oh, it's going to be ready. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh... So well, I, I can also there. push it. I can push a town out of here, and then we don't have to worry about this one. And if you can take care of that one, that's fine. But then what about this and this one? We don't worry about. No. So I can push this town here, and I can push it like oh, into here. Oh, I see what he's saying. Uh, Coast is always, always a, a source. source for oh, I see. I see. Are you, so you're saying push them this way so then things don't happen up there because there's no one I think to come so, out? Yeah. And you can with Ocean's Hungry Gas, which I know. i played him <laughs> before. He's awesome. He is awesome. Okay. Great multiplayer, too. <laughs> okay. So I push. I did this power. I pushed this town over here in the middle. And the reason why is so that when ravaging happens next, this guy won't be able to kill the Dahan. The Dahan will kill him back. It, that, that spot's clean. Um, okay, so then I will choose to trigger this one. So we'll get two fear. I'll target myself. Two fear. So target spirit may push. So I think I'm going to do from this one. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I can push a city, or sorry, an explorer, an explorer in, a, in town. a town. So I will push both into here. Oh, very nice. So that's done. Okay. Uh, then I can do this. So we get two fear. Again. Yes, yes. So I can replace either one town with an invader or one city with a town. So, so I'm going to do that here. I probably just want to get rid of this thing, right? I think. Yeah, that's probably. I don't know. It, I'm not sure. Like, I'm good at destroying towns, like making them weaker. That's great. Yeah, yeah. I would think go there. Go there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we'll yeah. replace Your call. That. Yeah. It's just a replace, not a destroy, so we don't get any yeah. additional fear for that. No. Uh, okay. I have this damage, but I can only do like one damage to a town or city, which I hate it. It sucks. I need to pair it with other stuff, but hopefully I get a power card that'll help me. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Yep. All right. 
I'll just make a little discard pile. Do your discard pile like here. Yep. And I'll put mine on the sand on the opposite side. Oh. Rob, remember your innate power to prevent Ravager build? Uh, yes. No, I do know this. You're right. <laughs> That's why I put this here, but then I forgot. Yeah, I pushed it out. I was going to do it down here to stop this, but then I had that push. Oh. But I could I have pushed the one away where I have presence. Yeah, I couldn't really help with a push there. And... Where? Here? This one. This is the only jungle one that's like a problem right now. Well, could you have done something here and then I could have done both my abilities on that one? What was your other one you did? The push you out there, the right? two out. So it would uh, only be left with... Here. Yes, I could have pushed a town out. Okay, then let's rewind yeah, yeah, that yeah. a little bit. So yeah. putting these back here, you could push a town out yes yeah, so I'll, I'll just push the town out now that's and then this one down here was this town i could undo that one and then i can just destroy one of these to prevent this one from ravaging yeah and then i will use that one to push this and this so you still change that city to a yeah, town yeah so i then... just use both my cards oh, okay. on the same yeah, one yeah, yeah. uh but let's do it to somewhere where there's dahan to help fight back at least is probably a good idea <sighs> I yeah. might push him with the wetlands there on the side if you think. Yeah, that's probably safer because the two down here. So if you if we can yeah. defend there, then at least something's ready to fight them back. Maybe, yeah, maybe I, I don't know. I don't okay. know. Okay. There's the coastal land. Uh, Ryan says you can tell it's the case because if you look at the other side of the islands, they have the symbols from branch and claw already on. Oh no way! <laughs> on the other side of these? Yeah, the realistic side. Yeah, grab another one of the Is it pieces. In here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, it has like the symbol see. for those tokens. Uh, right there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll play this eventually. It looks cool. Ooh. Oh, yeah, right there. I never That's a symbol of like uh, cardboard tokens in the other one. I don't know what they do. I did research it to see what came in the expansion to see if it was worth it. I know you guys all told me like I must have the expansion, but I still did a little research <laughs> to make sure it's worth it. Uh, it's like, does it add enough game that I'll be able to play more of it or should I spend my money on a different game? But I, I definitely ordered it. It's, it's ordered. It's pre-ordered, sitting on a pre-order that will eventually ship when Wingspan comes back in stock in Canada. <laughs> if ever. <laughs> if ever. It will come back in stock for yeah. 10 seconds and then it sells out. Yeah. Uh, King's amazing. I love Edis. Scenarios, add oh. a ton of replayability. Okay. Yeah, I did I did read this one scenario that like changed some of the rules and made me want to play that scenario. Uh, I think it made like all powers fast or something crazy. Oh, that's cool. But then it balances it with some other like negative rule or something and it looked cool. I don't. I read that like a month ago, so I don't remember exactly what it was. But I was like, okay, I see. When you've played it enough that you're like, oh, I'm kind of a little bored. It's like spice it up. Okay. Okay. But I want to play the events from the expansion. I want to see that craziness. <laughs> I want to see the craziness with the events. Uh, okay. Uh, what were we doing? We were doing slow powers. We're yep. all done. We we're discard our stuff. Yep. Time passed. All the guys healed back up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're back around the top. Growth time. Mm -hmm. So I need to. Money. How much do I need? I need two to play both my cards. But I could look for a power. So I'll do it on a jungle or a wetland. Jungle or a wetland. Up to two away from where I have presence. Uh, yeah, let's go here. And then I will pick the second one where I'll add another presence, I think. So I'm, I'm not going to... Oh, now I get two money, so I'm fine there. So maybe gain a power card and more money or just add more presence. I think I want to add more presence. Yeah, and I want to play both cards. So I'm going to do the add more presence. Let's take this one off the bottom here. Uh, let's go up to one away where I have, what are we worried about? Jungle doing fights? Yeah, I could do this one. Okay, and you're good. So I'm going to choose this center option. So I'm going to yep. gain a power card and add a presence up to one away. Minor, I assume? Yes. All right, let's see what we got here. Yeah, give him, give him a show. What do we got? All right. John B. bought Wingspan on initial pre-order and was a good decision. Oh, yeah, nice. I, I, uh, I had it in my hand at Gen Con. 
I had it in my hand. You had it in your hand at Gen Con, and we were like debating over it, and you were holding like one of the last five copies left of like the three or five hundred they had there. Yeah. And I was like, ah, the price isn't good. It's like cheaper for us to get it out of store back home. And I was like, ah, I want to get games that are like new and, and hot and just released at Gen Con. And Wingspan had already been out for like six months. Yeah, little did I know that was like the, the closest I would ever come to owning that game for like a year. <laughs> You've been trying so hard yeah. to so I many finally times. gave in and like saw pre-orders go up at my store recently and was like, all right, all right, I'll freaking order one. I hope they get enough copies and I don't get screwed on the pre-order, but we'll see. Well, that's yeah. fine. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So we got this one here, which is the fast power destroy one invade, uh, invader. Uh, Explorer. Explorer. I, why do I always want to call them invaders? Well, they are that? invaders. All these white plastic pieces are invaders. These are explorers. Yeah, okay. So. Okay, so I like that. At range zero. But look at the, the abilities. So it does have air that you like. Uh, you have a little bit of air here, but you like and it has fire. fire. Yeah, yep. so that's two of those. Fire and moon if you can. Okay, so we have a slow one range any uh, any land. If target land has your presence, one fear and one damage. I like that. Mm -hmm. If target land is sand or wetlands, wetland, does one damage. Mm -hmm. Again, it has the moon. the moon, which I like. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm bad at trying to angle these. Just hold it like kind of like above this camera. Just kind of like hold it like at that level, and then you're you're good. Okay. <laughs> so we got a fast power to fear. If target land is mountains or jungle, defend three. I like that a lot. And defend two in every land where target spirit has presence. Cool. That's pretty that cool. That is very That's good. That's a good early game card. Yeah. So any, and it's any, so it can be. John says vents works really good with your innate. So destroy one. Uh, zero range, target any land. But again, if you, you can target anything with a Dahan, right? If you yep. pay an energy. Yep. So you could pay an energy and just like anywhere there's Dahan, you can snipe a guy before he builds. And I like destroying on a fast power before and it can do anything. And how are your mountains on your cards? Do you have any mountains on these ones? No. Oh, no. Okay. I was going to say, if you get three mountains, you can instead destroy a town, which is pretty crazy for fear generation. So I do like this. Yeah. I like it's fast. I like this. Defend, Defend two. two. Yeah. In every land where spirit has presence. It's your call, though. Me or you. Your call. Now that doesn't give me any of <laughs> you these. You have a but... defend three here for mountains and jungles, and it's just two fear straight up. That kind of goes with your theme. I know I like that also too. Also gives you and a it's moon. It's fast, and it gives me a moon. I definitely don't think I'm going to take this one. So let's take that out of the running here. Okay. <laughs> uh, lots it's of been good options. off the island. Rule of thumb: always get something you can buy. Ah, something you can afford too, right? Yeah. So you're going to only get one more money unless which one you pick the middle one yeah i haven't done that so before. you're only no i'm gonna take that off so i'm gonna get three because i haven't done that yet oh okay okay because i'm just doing an order of the card or of the so you have one already and you're gonna get three more yeah. so you'll have four so and then look at what's in your hand a right one and a zero so yeah he's saying like don't go crazy make sure you can afford it i think you should only get fast things at all i don't think you should only get fast no i know I don't think so either. But here's the thing, though. The other thing I remember is, like, slow powers are good and all, but it is, like, kind of next level thinking. And, like, Mel's not the most experienced with this game, so when she sees a fast power, it allows her to react right away to something, right? Obviously, slow powers are really powerful, and they, they work. They usually do better things, but then you just have to be able to understand you got to use it to plan ahead. So, like, if you have slow powers, you're working on, like, the sand. If you have yeah. fast power, you're working on the jungle. That kind of idea. Yeah. So... As the newer players are going to graduate, and I did the same thing when I first started. I was like, man, fast powers are so much better. Even if they're less powerful, just it allows you to kind of like hit the things you need to right away and stop the fires. But obviously better planning will help pay out. Well, I like the... Things that trigger your innates are important too, exactly. Yeah. So what you start doing is looking at, is it got a moon or is that yeah, fire? So that's like then you want two. it, right? So honestly, I, I would think between these two, and I, and I would probably not look at this one just because it doesn't have the powers. And yes, it defends two in every land, but this is a targeted defend three. Like, do you really need to defend everywhere? Are you going to get lucky and you always have presence where you need to defend? No. I mean, that defend two could help you from not having blight in but your, in your presence. But it's you or me, so. Oh, okay. Okay. That's interesting. It's your call. I'm, I'm not going to push you either way, but yes, everyone's bringing up very good, very good ideas here. Uh, is this the second game and I missed the first? No, no, Dominic, it's still the first game. We're just slow getting started. We're chatting with the stream and kind of talking about the rules and stuff and uh, getting set up. So you're, you're here in time. You're good. So I think I'm going to take the Dark Entangled Woods. 
So this will give two fear, which kind of keeps the theme of the fear going and defends. I like that. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. So I'll give those back Beauty. to you. Uh, then I will add presence to up to one space away. I'm going to choose this one. Uh, I think I would like to go here, one away from that. Okay, and then I will get three. One, two, three. Okay. All right. You good? Yep. Oh, you already got your cards in? Yeah, because I'm just going to play my last two. I have enough money uh, to play them, and I can play plus one card. I'm doing the middle option again. A little weird, but it should allow me to do either innate. I can do both innate. And I should be able to pair this damage with my one damage I'm going to do from here. So I should be able to damage a town, I hope. I can also add uh, another presence or generate three fear. That's the other thing I, I want. I usually eventually start doing fear on this later. but So the jungles is what's going to... So jungles is what's going to ravage. That's, that's our problem right now. So if I play this and then I can defend here... Is that the only one that, oh, well, we have this one we're going to worry about too. Because yeah. that hits for two. So this will kill one of our presents each year. I can, remember, I can destroy whichever one. I'll do one for sure this turn. I can destroy to stop it from doing anything. Okay, so then I could defend there. So if you defend instead. there, that one will destroy that town. Great. But the same thing could happen here too. Okay. And, and that's one away. Uh... I can defend two. Uh, up to one space where I have presence. I can defend here also, actually. I okay. can defend here. You defend there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I can use my all-enveloping green uh, to defend two here, which yeah, will prevent the Tohan from dying. That's two. I don't have a fire. That's okay. No fire? No fire. It's in my discard. Okay. I think I'm going to go with that for my two cards. All right. Okay. So let's do up some fast powers. So like I said, I'm going to defend... Uh, using my little innate ability here, I have one water, one, two, three plant, so I can defend to up to one range away where I have uh, sacred site, which is right here. Uh, so that's used up, and then I can also add a presence. Uh, yeah, let's play some more cards. Uh, add a presence up to one away from where I have presence. Um, what's next? Sand's gonna be a problem. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, I'll just go here. Uh, all right. That's my fast power business. What do you got? Okay, I'll do this. We'll gain two fear. Two fear. I like it. And then I'm going to defend three here. Okay. And then we'll do one fear. <laughs> nice. And Han take no damage from ravaging invaders this turn. Are these invaders too? Like, are they all considered invaders? Yep. White, yeah. plastic White plastic pieces are invaders. Okay, so let's do... So it has to be range of zero where you are, unless you pay one energy to make it anywhere there's Dahan. Well, it's only going to be here. There's no Dahan here, and you're... So you're defending there, so nothing's going to happen, so you're good. Uh, you could. Where is attacking? Just jungle? Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't to do really. That. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Take no damage from ravaging. Yeah, because none of them will be killed anywhere. But this is going to be great later for sure. Like Wouldn't this... this one be killed? No, because you're defending there. So you're blocking... How much? Three? Oh, wait, because I'm defending. Yes, yeah, so you're defending three there, so that is only attacking for two. Okay, you so then I don't need it. to play this card at all. Well, play it, you generated fear, yeah. and you got your elements. I know you didn't use them for anything, but That's in fine. general, you don't always have to do the ability. Sometimes you just play it for the colors on the side, yeah, basically. Yeah, and the fear is good, so we'll yeah. just pick here, sure. Yeah. Doesn't matter. But that, will, that would be great next turn, where you could... Uh, here, they don't take damage. It would blight the land, but then since they don't take damage, they would fight back and still be yeah. alive to kill. Yeah, which my plan was to reclaim my cards because I only have one anyways yeah. after that, so. Yeah. Okay, so you're done, you're fast. Just remember that the land will still take damage with the card, it's just not Dahan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, just what I just told you. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, it only stops the Dahan from being damaged, but we still slap blight down if it's yeah. too much. Yeah, okay, you got oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Damn, 10 second, 15 second delay. <laughs> Stupid YouTube. Oh, okay, sounds All right. good. All right. Uh, so now, uh, so that was fast, fast. we're all oh, done fast, and I can't, and you that. can't yeah, do that. I can't do that. All right, over to here. Blighted Island, no. Fear, no. All right, jungle, ravage time. So defend here. Uh, I defended for two. Yes, two. So three hits. Uh, two gets blocked, one gets through. That's not enough to blight the land. It does damage the Sahan for one, uh, and then he fights back for two, and we'll wreck this town, which will do one fear enough to get the fear pool full, and we'll grab a fear card. 
I'll throw it down here. I'll use my handy dandy fear marker here to throw this so we remember next turn uh, that we have to resolve a fear card before I do this stuff. Okay, and then this one, uh, he's just one, so he's gonna hit the land, hit whatever, it doesn't matter. Here, you said you're defending. Yep. And then this Dahan will fight back. Another fear from the town being destroyed, and nobody's home in this jungle. Then we'll slide this over. Uh, now we'll do building in the sands. So, uh, this is a little problem. It's going to get a little out of control. And a city on this one because there's more towns than cities. So, yeah, that's just uh, beefed up good. Okay, and then explore wetlands. All right, so wetlands. Uh, yep, this one's going to have an explorer. This one's going to have an explorer. Uh, and the other one. <laughs> You're going to hate some of the events at first. LOL, they can get you. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> That's a little more randomness. I don't know if I'll like it or not, but I want to try it. That's for sure. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're good there. Uh, they're all done. Now we go to slow powers. So I can do two damage, basically, to a place... Where I have a sacred site and up to zero range from it if I combine these two powers together. Uh, so Sands is where the next trouble is. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, he's, he's hooked. He's hooked. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. So Sands. That's not... I have presence here. It's one away from a sacred site. It's Sand, so I can do one damage to each... What do you do? Any slow powers or anything? No, nope. not till next turn. All right, so hmm, I think it's only here I can really do any kind of damage. So I'll choose one space away from where I have a sacred site, okay. uh, up to one, and it'll be here, where if target land is a mountain or a sand, it is. I can do one damage to each um, city and town. Okay. Okay. And then I have this one at range zero away from where I have presence, which is here. Uh, I have one moon. Oh, yeah. So that one I had a water. No, no. It was this. This one I have one moon here. Two plants at least. I have, I'm good. Now I can do one damage to one town or city. So I will do one damage to this town. Finish it off. And we get a fear. And that is all I have. Oh yeah, I forgot about stopping builds actually. That's something I probably should have been doing. Sand, no, I couldn't do it there. Yeah, I don't think I could do it any of the sand ones. Yeah, I'm falling behind on that stuff. Okay. Good. Yeah, so I think we're good there. Uh, now we discard our cards, throw our money away, and then we ready up everything that didn't die. I think we are good. Yeah, take our little tokens back. Yeah, so I'm a little worried about all the sand that's uh, loaded right now that's going to do some attacking and blighting and all that business. So yeah. So you definitely have to mess with that. All right. Well, I have no cards in hand, so I think I'm going to put one presence out. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to reclaim my cards, so I'll do that, and I'm going to gain a power card. Uh, minor? Minor, yes. There you go. All right, let's oh, see what we got. All right. Push up to two cities, towns, 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 towns. So small. Never, one. never gonna get that. Okay. Remember the damage for two? It's got two little roofs. Yeah. And on the city, you'll see three roofs. Yeah. Just three damage, bigger ones. Okay. Target spirit <laughs> gets plus two range with all their powers. Okay. Oh, we saw this the other day. Target spirit gains two energy at the end of turn. The target spirit may reclaim one power card instead of discarding it. If you target another spirit, you may also reclaim one power card instead of discarding it. Okay. Oops, sorry. I'm just going to put my presence yeah. over there. Uh, okay, and target spirit gains one energy plus energy if you target, if target spirit is not yourself. If you have at least two presence, target spirit gains plus energy. Okay. Have the card serpent. Where's Saga? Is that supposed to be that Nardo one? loves the serpent, I think. None of them are called serpent. Oh, okay. So I'm assuming. <laughs> I think this one. Target spirit gains two energy at the end of the turn. Target spirit may reclaim one power card instead of discarding it. If you target another spirit, it may also reclaim one power card instead of discarding it. Wow, that is really cool. Uh, 
Yeah, presence to the sand in time to stop the ravage. Okay. Yeah, like here I can. Oh, okay. But Ari also one. loves this card, so I think I might be going with your opinion here. So anything. The only thing is the fire or the fire yeah, you, on this one. Yeah. Hold on. Target spirit gains energy plus one energy if target spirit is not yourself. I like that. If you have at least two sacred sites, target spirit gains another energy, and it has fire. Yeah. Pushing two of these. I know. I like that too. But it's slow. But. It, but but it can set you up to yeah, yeah. save you. But I think we've had two people that like this card, so maybe I'll go with you guys on that. It keeps the your cards coming back to hand, especially if you choose me. I get two energy. I, I then don't have to discard one of the cards at the end of the turn, so mm -hmm. I can get it back for next turn, and then you get to do the same if you target me. I can also make but it you myself can target yourself. if I need to for this as well. Yep. So, yep. okay, we're going to go with that one. The Good flowers. card, yeah. Nice, especially since green is slower. Oh. Yeah, so this one's also good, Ryan is saying, because you're yeah. slower on energy. But doesn't that one give us energy? Yeah. Yeah. But this Good one card. has your symbol. So, it's, so is it smarter then to take the card with my I don't symbol know. on They're it? They're both great. They're, They're both, both cheap. Give They're both kind of like the same here. But I think we need to get your power going. Like I think this needs to happen like almost every turn if you can. Getting the innate with shadow sticker is harder than most spirits, in my opinion, and may not always be rewarding. Oh, okay. Hmm. Personally, feel that innate is very situational, and that shadow is my least favorite. Okay. Oh, I'm sad. Okay, so let's go with this one to get the fire. Yeah. If it's going to do a similar ability. The only thing is you're not getting cards back, so that's it's huge. But I think what you need to do is if you can get this ability firing off, you then start destroying stuff and getting more fear going. Yeah. And, like, that'll push us. I disagree and think it's real strong. Oh, I think he's disagreeing yeah, yeah. with the... Yeah, this, this, this guy. Yeah. I like this guy yeah. a lot. Yeah, okay, yeah. so those are getting discarded. But, yeah, trying to get this ability off and make it accurate. But, hey, if you're just able to, like, move the explorers out of spots they're going to build, that's huge. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at mine here. Uh, so we got devouring arts. So we got a fear. Actually, first let's just look. So I'm looking for moons, plants, and water. So that's where I start like going. So honestly, I start looking at these two right away. Mm -hmm. Gain a minor power card. I like that a lot. Has moon, water, and plant. All the three things yeah. I want, and it's free. <laughs> it's free, like free ninety nine, boys. Free ninety nine. I love it. Uh, then we got this one over here. Has moon and water. If invaders are present uh, in any land, one away from my sacred site. Uh, one fear. And if target land is sand or wetlands, remove a blight, hmm. which I see wetlands with blight right now. And I guarantee there's going to be some sands with blight in a second. And removing blight is huge. And getting fear is great. Uh, getting a minor power card is cool. I do like that a lot. And, but just the fact it has all my symbols. I know, in one card. But then, this one I love too. Defend six, straight up. Just defend six. If I got two water, which, yes, I got water on cards, you may instead remove a blight. So that's huge. Mm -hmm. And... Then I got Devouring Ants, which a slow card, up to one away, target any land, one damage, uh, one fear, one damage, destroys the Dahan. Just make sure you don't go hit where Dahan is. The target is jungle or sand, extra damage. But again, it doesn't have my symbols. Has This one has a plant, which is, and a, and a mountain, which I could use a mountain on the one card. Sure. And it, defending and removing blight, which might be what we need right now. If I was to think like right now, this is fast, I can defend one of these sands that's about to pop off. And eventually later, I'll be having two water in play, hopefully, and I can remove Blight also. But defend six, like, that's crazy. That's going to protect the land, and the Dahan will be able to fight back, too. Right. And it's one range from where I have a Sacred Sight, which, I don't know. That's very powerful. So I, I like that one a lot. This one, not so much. And these two are like, yeah, just having all those symbols is like, per it's my perfect and card. And free. And it's free. Uh, you would go with defend, yeah. I think defend's a more safer <laughs> option. Um, but yeah, these having my symbols on them makes me want to go there. And then like, yeah. So I will do that. I'm going to go for defend. I like Bernardo. He's, he's agreeing with me there. I'm down. Uh... You would go for the symbols, Korok? Mm. Okay, yeah, he thinks like I think. Pretty good. I would go for the symbols. See, that's what I originally Cause, was like. Because the, oh, the symbols could lead to better defending and removing Blight. Like, this is doing it in the card, but... Then if I'm never getting these off, I'm not destroying towns and, and getting those abilities. John says symbols. 
Symbols, yeah. yeah Gotta I agree the symbols. symbols. Oh. All right, that's three votes for symbols. Bernard, Bernardo, you're out. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> You've been outvoted. I was with you, though. I was going to pick this card, no problem. <laughs> and I would say this card. But originally, that... my eyeballs went to that card just for the symbols, and it's free. And, and getting more minor powers. I know minor powers aren't always All right, like we're going the best. gift of power. We're going to we're gonna cycle through this deck, then, I guess. All Does right. it just get shuffled, and then we... Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does get shuffled, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ryan has got to agree the symbols. Yep, symbols one. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, that was just, oh, I don't even know which one. Was. Oh, reclaim, reclaim my cards, cards and then I bought one. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I already put my presents out. Now I get my money. Okay, and I also get three. And, and I, can I can play two cards. I can play two cards also. So we need to worry about the sand. So. Uh, okay, so. Let's see. What can I do about the sand? I can get another presence here. I can block this one from ravaging. This one, though. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything that I can do about it. Can you defend here? Of like five? <laughs> of like five? No. That's a problem. Don't you have defend six? No, as I didn't get it. Oh, right. <laughs> he just talked. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm get. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm picking the other one. I'm doing the other one. I think. And let I could defend though. I could defend with this if I do it. I can't. I Hold can on. just. Let me see. Let me see if I even have. I have all my cards in my hand, so I should be able to do this. I could probably defend for four there. If I defend for four. That's two getting through that kills the Dahan. I can but make I, it so the Dahan don't die. I can't defend that far away, though. That's the problem. You're one away from this, no? No, I have to be a sacred site within one. So I could put a presence there, but... Defend with the Nate if possible. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Bernardo's also laughing. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one I think might just be tanked and get Blight. This one, like, this one... Also gets blight right now. This one, if I put a presence there, I can stop it. Yeah, I don't think I can help you with but this. But this one, Here. also blight. Like, man, the oh. sand's got out of control. We might get lucky from our fear card, but I, I don't think we'll get that lucky on a level one fear. Oh yeah, we're in, we're in, we're in a spot here. So if I make it so these Dahan don't take any damage, is that helpful? It will still blight the land, but yeah, they'll fight back and they'll deal four damage. So you so could destroy I'll do like that. a town. You could destroy a city and explorer. Blight happens. <laughs> Blight happens, yes. <laughs> Hashtag blight happens. <laughs> yep. We're in a big uh, pile of blight right now. Just We're remember you're building towards being able to remove blight. So if she can make that true, true. not die, let it blight. Ah, that's a fen six though. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't, right? Because you said it has to be... Because I can only play two oh, cards I right see, now. I, I could defend only two. I, I think, yeah. Because I can only play two cards right now. Oh, actually... I could take. I could gather this one away. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say if I play, because then it would be four, but that would not be enough. Never mind. Yeah, we're too early here. Like without seeing get rid of control. Okay, okay. Let's do. Uh, maybe defend one with stand with innate. Yeah, I'm gonna do just one of the little ones uh, with the innate. This one's just out of control. We can't do anything. It sucks that the Dahan will die. No, though. I'm saving them with this. Oh, okay, okay. All right, that sounds good. I'm so that one's the kind Dahan. of controlled. So, um, um, what can I do about? What about this? This one. I don't know. So we're getting blight on all of them. No. So if I put a presence here, so I got to make sure I play a card that can put presence. I can stop this one. This one, I need to defend with my Nate, so now I have to play a card with water 100%, because I can defend for two, and then the Dahan will hit back to destroy the town. But this this one needs needs some attention. Okay. Uh, oh, I can't do it till... Yeah, after, right? Yeah. Which now, Wetlands is going to be the problem next. So uh, if, if you can get some Explorers off of Wetlands, gather them off Wetlands, that's another thing you can help it. Yeah, I can do... So this little innate power, gathering one off of a wetland, will stop the building there. So Yep, okay, so I'll yes, just work exactly. on that. Yeah, exactly. John's on it. We're thinking about water next to yeah. And they're talking about how the fear could Yeah, your that's us. your idea, is make as much fear as you can. And, and we get fear cards, they should supplement some this, of our weaknesses, hopefully. Which will let me do my innate as well. Okay. And I got fear uh, one for that. So water... 
Here. Okay, yeah, hopefully that fear card lets us get rid of. Well, I can also, that's a little slow, but push it down. But that might help us with water next. Okay, so there's my two cards, two money. All right, fast powers. Let me add a presence. Get one off my card here. Up to one away. I'm going to do it right here. Okay, and then I'm going to defend two. Uh, that was defend two here. That is defend two, one away from where I have a sacred site. Yeah, I'll defend two there, so this guy will fight this town back. So okay. those two are kind of covered. I'll destroy this to protect that from happening. Okay, so for this one, we'll generate one fear. Uh, yep. I'm going to have to pay one because it's zero range, but I can pay one to do... Target where you have Dahan. Is that... Yep. Or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So read, read. Whenever you use a power, which is this, yeah. you may pay one energy to target a land, land with the Han regardless of this power's range. Okay, so I'm paying one to do that. Yep. I was confused for one second. I don't know why. So they don't take so damage, so let's Use the other side to remind you of a power. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. this one's like a, a defend symbol, I'm pretty sure. Oh. And this one's like, remind me I have a power kind of thing. Oh, okay. I don't think it matters too much, but. Then this one. So oh, up to one range away where you have a sacred site. But you can, can I do one. this? Or uh, no, because it's... Uh, if there's a Dahan there, you can for pain and energy. Okay. And then you gather into the land that has a Dahan. So let's... Show me, where are you trying to pull out of for wetlands? Well, Is that what I you're can... trying to do? Like gather a guy out of a wetland so he doesn't build next? Yeah. It's probably a good idea. Whenever you use a power, you may pay one energy to target a land. Okay, so I could only so probably target you... this one. Oh. So this has a Dahan. Oh, <laughs> Korak, yeah, he didn't realize moving the, the Dahan. Oh. Yeah, let's get him out of the place of the wetlands. He, he takes back his comment. <laughs> awesome. Whenever you use a power, you may pay one energy to target a land with a Dahan, regardless of, okay, so. Yeah, so you target a land with Dahan, and then you, you, you pull in, you gather into that land some from one of the adjacent, for example, if you pick this one, you can pull an explorer in from Now let's any, target this one. And pull this guy well, Yeah, because there's blight on that land, so you don't... But but it will become a problem eventually. Not a problem right now, but yeah. that's cool. I'm down. Okay. I am down. All right, so okay. that's all our fast powers. Yep. Now we're going to look over here. Oh, we got my little fear marker here reminding me to do a fear card. So okay. let's do this, and it's level one. Each player may push one Dahan from a land with invaders or gather one Dahan into a land with invaders. Mm. Okay. So... If we start thinking about where combat's going to happen now, ravaging, if you pull the Han in somewhere, that may be able to fight back. Or they may die. You might, might want to get them out of there. No, or, but it might stop blights, right? Like if we put no, this in here? It doesn't stop blight, no. Because they hit the land and the Dahan at the same time. So they put blight on the land, they'll kill Dahan, and then the Dahan fight back. If you defend, then it stops them hitting the land and the Dahan simultaneously also. Okay. So you don't want to put them in somewhere they're going to get killed right now. But if you want to add numbers, like if, let's say, there was fighting happening here, you wouldn't, that wouldn't make a good example either. But let's say here, if you threw an extra Dahan in this, this coastland, it's this side one here, it has three, uh, two Dahan. So there's four damage coming in that would kill two of those Dahan. But if you put another Dahan there, at least one would fight back because mm -hmm. one would be alive after. Mm -hmm. So things like that. Or you want to save a Dahan's life. Now wait, 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 wait. Push one from a land with invaders or gather one into a land with invaders. Probably have suggestions in there. If I Can I just say one thing that I'm thinking? And you guys can tell me if I'm right or wrong. If I put this in here, because they don't take damage, they would wipe everything out, right? Or not everything. They'll, they'll do four Three. damage back. What if I do this one, they would be doing six damage. Correct, and you'll clean the land. It will put blight on the land, but at but least they empty. won't die, and they'll, they'll, they'll clear it off of invaders and generate you three fear. That is not a bad call. Yeah, I like that. Let's see, okay. we'll, let's see what the chat's recommending here. Um, uh, gather into the sands where they won't die. Yep, oh. that's what she just did. Ryan, oh, great yes, lines, great yes, lines. Yes, we're right. on the same page here. Uh, can wipe it out completely. Yep, the land where uh, it oh, really takes no damage. John's on, John's on, on it too. It okay. And yep, gather for max offense. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay we got there. We got there eventually. Uh, but I can still do one. Yep. So I can push. So where else would... So it has to be... Oh, yeah, yeah. So here's good. So here there's nobody to push in or save or anything that wouldn't matter there here they would kill something that we put in there so that's probably not safe but Dahan are safe right now 
so we don't want to save any. But now thinking about wetlands being the next problem, I probably want to get some Dahan into wetlands out of like mountains where they're kind of doing nothing. It's probably a good call, but I don't see any really. Oh, it has to be somewhere, <coughs> excuse me, with an invader though, right? Uh, it has to be pushed from a land with invader or gather into a land with invaders. Oh, okay, okay. So you could do like this one into here? Yeah, so let's do that one. That one's all right, I think. <laughs> sure. Well, uh, there Sounds aren't many good. options. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're right. I want to do it here, but I need this one here for fighting, so I don't want to move him. Here, there's already some covering the wetlands, and then over here, there's already some there. So it's like that is probably the only option I would think of. So yeah, sounds good. All right, so that fear card, first fear card down. Okay. Let's get some more going. Yeah. All right, so now sands, like we said, uh, let's do it from left to right here. So this one's defending for two, so one damage gets through because it's doing three damage, and then he'll fight back, kills a town, generates a fear. Okay, so we have half our fear in there now. Okay. Uh, next sand, I will destroy one of my little tokens to prevent the ravage from happening at all. This one, unfortunately, they will blight the land. Uh, whoops, no, no, Rob, no, 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 <laughs> from this card. All right, and then over here, they're going to hit the land, so another Blight, unfortunately, but they don't take damage, you said, and right. then they fight back. For six. And that gets us three more fear. Nice. Two from the city, one from the town. So I'll just remove that because that's done. Okay. And, yep. Uh, that's all the Ravaging. Okay, let's do Building. So wetlands, I can't do anything about this one. This one, nobody's here. This one's gonna build another town. And the other far one's gonna build a city, unfortunately. Capers. Okay, they're gonna slide over. Now explorers in the jungle, which I have a feeling we're not stopping any of these. Nope, adjacent no. town. Yeah, adjacent city, whoops. Uh, adjacent town. And next to the coast. Uh, the number of blight on the blight card, is it two per player? Yeah, two per player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, two per player. Any blight removed from the board returns here. If there's n if there's ever no blight here, flip the card. Uh, all right. Okay. Slow powers? Slow powers. Uh, okay. So okay, I so now we're worrying about water. Basically, yes. Do you have any damaging of anything? Here, let me do this. Two fear All to right. start. Okay, so one fear, then another fear that goes out, another fear comes in. We have a fear card in the queue. If we could cycle it, they're getting one fear card every time. If we can get three in a turn, that would be better than one per turn. So I'm <laughs> I know, but I'm down with that. getting one every turn. If we can get like five a turn, Mel, that would be great <laughs> if you could just do that. Okay, so here, I think this will work. I'm gonna target you. Okay, I'm down, any um, player. Yeah, target spirit may push one invader, uh, one explorer, 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 and, and one, one, town. one town from the land where they have presence. presence. So what about this? Push yep. them out of there. Uh, so I'll just throw them in here. Okay. Yep. Done. Okay, so then we won't have to worry here about that. Here I can push that. a town up to this one range away. About. Or I can push three to Han. Ooh. Like this I can push three to Han into here. Okay. And then I could technically recover. To, I'll recover my cards again to get that one, so they don't take damage. Yeah, but the land still gets blight. We need to start defending, not just. Uh, yeah, but I can't. Not just, I, like, I know, I know. We need to get power cards to do that. Like this one, I threw away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he said, "Yay, another fear card." Yes. Uh, okay, so I can either push a town. So if I start thinking about, uh, I could push this one out so no ravaging matters there and this guy will kill back uh i can push from one range away so let me push you gotta push it here yeah to the sand i'll push it there out of this wetlands yeah so this way we won't ravage this one won't ravage this one we don't care he dies it's this one that's the problem over here Maybe all those you... headed i've been playing this for at least a year and I have a ton of games in, and I still call still invaders, invaders, explorers, explorers. and vice versa. Yeah. yeah, it's invaders and explorers, I'll never get it, and cities and towns. I don't know why I can't ever de determine which is which. You know a city in real life is like bigger than a town, yeah, right? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Logically, I get it, but <laughs> I don't know. 
So. Oh, he calls them thingies. Okay, we're not white calls thingies. Them thingies. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to say that on video. I don't know. Here, Ixnay on the thingy. <laughs> we'll just call him the the bigger one and the little one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guy. I'll, I'll get some paint. We'll paint on them like a big T on the side of all the buildings oh, on the uh, on the town and then on the city. Big C's. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. I'll get it one day. One day. Okay. <laughs> do you have any more slow powers? Uh, I don't. I do. I have a damage one, but it only does one damage to a town. And if I don't have anything else that does a damage, it's so useless. Yeah. I have to be able to repeat the power. So you like later it. in the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hate it early. It only works with my one other card, and I always try to look for cards that work with it, but they never have my symbols, and it's like a little frustrating. Uh, okay. So we'll do the discard. All right. So uh, now. We cleaned up. Uh, everything ready up here. Everybody else. Okay. So now we're now we're gonna go to. Uh, that's funny. I'm gonna put a presents in somewhere. Jungle or a wetland. So is there a wetland that's gonna be a problem? There's this one. This one is a I huge problem. I can stop problem. it from even doing anything. Oh, but I'll just destroy it. my thing. Okay. Yeah. But we gotta work up to try to deal with that somehow. But yeah. I could just keep putting presents in there over and over again to stop that from ever being a problem. But it depends. If Wetlands never comes up again, then it's not a big deal. But it probably will. I'm going to have dual cards. Okay. So what am I going to do here? I hmm. don't know. I don't know. I need energy. Maybe I just add a presence and gain a card? Yeah. I'm going to do the gather, uh, gain three money, and I'm going to look for a power card. And I'm going to go major. We're going major, guys. We're going major. All right. Because I'm going to have five resources this turn. So actually, let me check my other cards. Yeah, they're all cheap. All right. So we got some range three away for three. Uh, that's water. I could fear. Defend for six. Replace a city with a town or a town with an explorer. And I will never have those things to repeat this power, but that's cool. Uh, I could do... Uh, Vigor of the Breaking Dawn, up to two away. It uh, has to be a Dahan land. Two damage per Dahan in target land. That's what you do right there. Uh, and I'll never have those symbols. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, here I have Paralyzing Fright, up to one range away from where I have a Sacred Sight. Four Fear. Invaders skip all actions in target land this turn. That, again, could stop that from happening. Four Fear. I don't think I'll ever have the Aaron Mountains for that. And... Of course, I didn't really get a card that's like great for my abilities. Just the water ones are kind of like okay, maybe the mountain, but not really. Then I have dissolve the bonds of kinship, so it's slow. One range away, any land. Replace a city with two explorers. Then replace a town with one explorer. Replace a Dahan with one explorer. Push all explorers from the target land to as many different lands as possible. <laughs> that's a mess. I'm not doing that. One. <laughs> I'm thinking this fright one is kind of fun. Because it like makes them just skip their turns, which is what I kind of do. Yeah. But the defend, I like the defend better because then the other guys can fight back. I think I'm going with this, the wins, the wins card. The fast costing four would be my pick, but I always tend to ignore the innates. Yeah. I like this one because it has water on it. I probably will pick this one just for the water. But I love the ability, a fear, defend for six, and I'm swapping out cities with towns and then or a town with an explorer. So I'm weakening the place too. So if it's really out of control, I can weaken their offense. Or later, when we need them to win, when we need to get rid of them to win. Oh, yeah, right? when it's only cities able, left. Yeah, yeah I can swap a city yeah. for the town. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one, Winds of Rust and Atrophy, atrophy? Uh, which means I have to get rid of a power because it's a major. And you know which one I'm going to get rid of. Can you get rid this of one that's crappy... already discarded? What, sorry? Can you get one that's already discarded? Yes, absolutely. But I like those-ish. Uh, water and a moon. Uh, I could get rid of gain a minor power card one, but I do like it for the symbols. I feel like this one is like super annoying. I mean, it works good with my innate, but it like never works out where like I get it at the right time when it's going to damage stuff and actually destroy. But this could help us though later when I'm actually have more of these symbols. Mm -hmm. Uh, Target spirit adds. This is you adding more of this to the board, which mm. is okay. But adding presence, fear, or the pushing a town. I don't know. Hmm. 
Winds and vigor are great. Winds and vigor are great. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Vigor's great, too. Yeah, and Vigor yeah. and Paralyzing Sprite are my favorites from Korok. Not sure which one they would recommend. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I'm going to get rid of this stem of uh, the flow of fresh water. Okay. That's what I'm, I know it may not be the best choice, but that's what I'm going with. Okay, I'm going to also gain a power card. Uh, do I go for a... Vigor kind of needs to icons be strong. Yeah, that's true. The repeat, right? Or the you may push. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and I don't have those icons. That's not gonna happen. So maybe lose the gain minor. I was thinking that, but it has all my symbols. But yeah, that's probably the better option. You're probably right. Yeah, you're probably right. I was thinking that too. But it does have all those juicy symbols? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Okay. Yeah, because I, I do like the idea of damaging towns and cities. Like, that'll matter later when we're trying to get them all off the board and stuff. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to also gain a card. I'm going to do the center one. Okay. Uh, but do I go for a major one this time? Uh, it's up to you. If you have a card that you feel the like you just want to get rid of. Well, the only one I haven't played yet is the one that lets me gather up to four Dahan. And then what's the last part? Uh, if invaders are present and Dahan now outnumber them. Three, three fear. fear. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> The only one I so would you want. could just do these three here. Pull them into somewhere jungle that's going to be a problem next. Okay, and, and then, then boom, for, I'll go for minor. Minor. I'll go for minor. Okay. Well, you can still do major, that. but no, so I'm allowed to get rid of. Okay. All right, slow two damage, push one. Okay, I like it. One damage per blight. If target is mountain or sand, you may instead remove a blight. I like this. One damage per Dahan, or gather up to three. Okay, I like that. Oh, we were just talking about this. Replace an explorer with a Dahan. Yeah, Mel was asking earlier before we started the stream, how do you get Dahan onto the board? I'm, I'm like, only cards I know of are ones that like replace invaders with Dahan that kind of gets them back on the board. Also, and moons are a thing. I have moons. Yeah, that's a, yeah, moons are moons. your thing. I have moons. And I it think gives I, you a moon, which is good for your innate. I'm going to go for this one. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's so John's just saying also to lose the overgrown in the night. And I understand me adding presents because I'm almost gone. But the cool part is I can still add presents from here. And I love this card later because it's just a three fear generator. And I think that's what we're going to need. Mm -hmm. So I love when I, I get rid of these and I turn this into a three fear card. I want I want to keep it for that reason. I love the long term of it. Okay. Now i got to add presents somewhere. Especially with her adding the fear together. I think I'm going to go, I just want to look and see if I'm playing something that I need. I don't know what I'm playing. So um, I can do a presence one away. So that. So wetlands. I think I'm going to go. Here to get more of that. And then I can almost target everywhere on the board. Okay, then I get three. One, two, three. Sorry, you're already ready, and I can play three cards here. Off the board can only be added from growth options. Oh, okay. When adding... Oh, via growth. Oh, okay, right. Okay, sorry, I didn't see that. Yeah, I didn't see that. When adding presence to the board via growth, you may optionally use your destroyed... Oh, okay. Okay, I thought it was any time you add it. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Sweet. Oh, but I messed that up yesterday. I don't think I did, but I might have, to be honest. Uh, if the island is healthy, do so freely. If the island is blighted, doing so costs one energy per destroyed presence you add. Hmm. Okay, good to know. But still, that three fear on this card, like getting that later where I just play this, and it's three fear. I know two. Two for three fear is kind of pricey, but with her adding fear quickly, we can hopefully start plowing through the deck fast. We'll see, we'll see. Subtle point. <laughs> have a special power. Oh, yeah. Yeah, by a growth, that makes sense. Okay. I'm going all day, all slow. Sounds good. 
There's a plan for income, though. Yeah, true. This yeah. Two, it does cost two. I can give you some income next turn. Well, eventually, uh, my hope is, like, when I do these threes, and eventually I'll get three uncovered, hopefully, shortly, where I'm getting three resources, and every couple turns I get resource up there. But, yeah, that's true. We did throw away those ones earlier, but... Okay, uh, so fast powers. Mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. So you can add a presence somewhere, one away from where you have presence, if you like. Uh, that probably will help you get something going. So did you take your econ for this turn? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My cards are very cheap. Uh, let's put presents. Really think about your, you need you need this here to do that. I know you can always do this, but like try to save money on that, right? Try not to blow energy on this and eat yeah, if you can. So just put some sacred sites somewhere good that's like within one. So if you like made so this like, sacred, that literally hits al almost this whole island here. And then if like you yeah, know try yeah. to try to get it like two spots that kind of hit the most things, right? Yeah. And especially jungle and wetlands. Jungle is where you want to pull guys off of right now. Mm -hmm. Which I can now do with this. Yeah, you do have a fire. Yes. Three moons. Three moons. I don't have the other fire, though. That's okay. Mm. So I can gather one. So let's gather him from... Jungle that you don't want to build, I would say. So if you could so. from here, but that, again, is too far away. So maybe you want to put... Oh, here. Yeah, I can do here. Unless you pay the money, but there is no Dahan there, so you no, can't. No, so I can just do here. I can do oh, here yeah, or works. here. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but this one won't really do anything because there's still one there that'll build, right? Yeah, let's do here, yeah, and no. let's put him... Uh, let's put him... Here? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I defend anywhere? Yep. I have two water... Three plant, so I can defend two somewhere. Uh, what is it, wetlands right now? Yeah. I think it's all good because I'm defending. I'll do this one uh, for one fear and defend six. And this can be up to three places away where I have a sacred site. So that's here, right, we're going to do? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I have a sacred site right on the spot. So I'll defend six, and then I replace one city uh, with a town. Defending six and they're fighting back for four. That would wipe it. Oh no, you're gonna put a town there. Yeah. So but you got to think that eventually we're gonna be. I know, I know. It's all good. So I'll do that, and then I obviously can't repeat this power, but that'd be bananas, because uh, you could pick a new location and do it again. Like a repeating. new. Oh, yeah. okay. You get to like target again and everything. That's super cool. Wow. Um, okay, so defend two doesn't matter, right? I don't think there's any. Mm. wetlands that's fighting that no. matters right okay no. so i'll just bypass that power anything else fast no nope. all right so fear card level one still i'm good come on all right each player removes one explorer or town from a land with a sacred site oh well only you well i'm gonna oh, yank oh this with it, i can do it on one of yours so do I get rid of this? Each player removes one with, I don't know if it's you have to have sacred there or if it's just anybody. No, it just says ah. I think it's anybody, right? Yeah, I don't think it's with your, but it, it might be because that symbol means like, oh, because this one says your sacred. Yeah, it says ah. I'll land with sacred site. Yeah, I think anyone, yeah. but I'm going to do that one so they don't build there. No, no, don't do that one. Oh, maybe. Yeah, anyway. it's any. Okay, thank you guys. But I just thought... If we take this, then it wipes it. Can you cover a jungle? Well, I could take this. Oh, those don't do anything. Because it has to be this space or this space. Oh, I see. Because it has to be a sacred site. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. So, I mean, this would give us a fear. No, it's oh, removed. Oh, it's removed. Yeah, oh, okay. so that's why I kind of want to leave it there. It's for that's the... fine. Okay, Doesn't I'm down. Who has anybody. Okay, they're all on it. Everybody is saying. I love it. You guys are wicked. <laughs> As they're wicked, I love it. All right, uh, so wetland time. Nobody here to ravage. Nobody here to ravage. This guy gets hit back by a Dahan. Does this go like yeah, that? Yeah, he technically leans over. Then over here we have defending happening, and it protects the land, but the four hit back. Wipe these guys out. That's a fear from destroying a town. Okay, done that card. Jungle's going to build. So they're going to put a town. There, or are they? 
Where is oh, it? Oh, because you have your... I could destroy it to stop it there. Uh, Do we still have one more fear card there? Nope. So it doesn't flip over until you go to draw the next one? Yeah. Once this one's gone, you actually see the next... Oh, there the is next... another card there. Sorry, that's what I was yeah. asking. Sorry. Uh... I just worry when they're actually ravaging. Throw that there and throw that there. Okay. Uh, and then this slides over now. Explorers. Coastal lands. Womp womp. Oh. Korok, thank yes, you for subscribing. You. You're awesome. <laughs> I know you're here to actually hear me say that. That's wicked. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Uh, coastal lands. So we're going here. It's explore time. Oh, gosh. Here's explore time. Here's explore time. And three more. This one won't. Yeah, well, it's on a coast. They always come from oh, they, the ocean. Oh, I was thinking, yeah, oh. no stopping that. I was like, there's nowhere for them to come no, from. They come from the water. Yeah, they're all trouble. I'm excited right. for a second. So that's that. Now we go to... Says you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so then we go to slow powers. Okay. Uh -huh. So I have, how many moons? One moon, not enough plants to do Six. one damage to a town. I could do another damage to a town. Where do I want to stop towns and jungles? Coastal lands. Uh, I can do it basically where I have stuff. Um, yeah, I'll do. One damage, I guess, here. Frig, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll do one here uh, from this, which will damage this town. And then I'll use my Nate uh, to damage the other damage on it. Get us a thing. And I think that's all my slow powers. I'm done. Okay. So let's first do this one. So gather up to four. So we said we'll do... These are going to go... So coastal lands. Yeah, that's a thing. But this can give us three fear, though, if I do this. If yeah. I put them here. Right? Gather yeah. up to four. If invaders are present in Dahan, now outnumber them, gain three fear. All right, I'm down. Okay, so that's that one. Um... Okay, so... This is range zero. Okay, so let's do this one first. So two fear. Okay, two fear. I can replace a town with an invader at range zero. Okay. So let's do this one. Oh, very nice. Uh, with an explorer, right? With an explorer. Okay. Explorer Whatever. parties, man. We're going to wipe these guys out. Okay. I can't do that. Then <laughs> here at range one, I can do... Has to be somewhere there's the Han. You got target dawn, right? And if yeah. you have two moons, which you do. Is that backwards? Did I do that backwards? I don't know. Well, that place you did that, they don't have dawn, so. Yeah, okay. So here I can do, I can replace an explorer so, with a, a dawn. Yeah, so or if, if you do that in one of what? these coastal lands, we don't have to worry about a building because now you'll have a dawn there instead of the explorer. Right. I have the two moons, so instead <clears> I could also replace a town with a Dahan, True. but I think just getting rid of an explorer yeah. right I, is I better. Yeah, I think that's better for wherever is further away from so let's do, your presence and stuff or other Dahan. Well, let's do, this is kind of okay. Let's do this one. Let's do that one. Or you could do it like here, um, but yeah, then there's still three damage coming in, but then one come ah, but I can solve this. Oh, from but happening. you know what? I think I can defend I can no, defend I, in I a jungle. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I can defend in a jungle. So Or a mountain. So you can defend here and look, you can defend here and then these Dahan fight back and kill. Okay, so let's yeah, do, still do whatever. this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright, so that was a fear card put in there. So now we are on terror level two. Victory condition is just destroy all the buildings. And we win. That's it. That's, That's all you it. have to do. Okay. <laughs> so I've dumped my hand, so I am going to... I think I want to recover. Yeah. I have 
put presents out. Are you recovering as well? Yeah, but I gotta do this part first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we said jungle is gonna do some attacking. I can pull this away to stop that. I can. Bernardo's getting out of here. He needs to go and pick up his kids. No problem. Take care. Good oh, luck. did you thank put a Dahan so there? You didn't put a Dahan there, right? No, I yeah. didn't. Thanks, that was John. the whole thank point. You, thank, thank, you, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was just excited that I could get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the meal is the heart. Uh, okay, so I put a presence here. I could possibly stop that from happening. Okay. For jungle time. Yeah, uh, so I'll jungle throw that. Uh, now I'll do the reclaim my cards. I also gain a power. Let's do a minor this time. I'm also going to reclaim my cards, so I'll just do that now. So fear pushing explorers around. Visions of Fiery Doom. Of gathering, defending, mm, defending. Dun, dun, dun. One damage to each, or defend for ten. Oh, I like that one too. I like this because it does the whole damage with towns and cities that I'm trying to do. Has a moon. This one has water though. Moons are something. How many moons do I have going on? Only two. I'll never get to do the third part where I repeat the power again. Unless I get more moons. So I'm going to take the earth, quicken, quicken the earth. Mel can't target that land with the power she played. Had no Dahan to start with. Oh, yes. You had to target a place with Dahan. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That's why I was saying this one. Okay. So, well, yeah. yeah sorry. Yeah. So we'll put that guy back. And then just move that over. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Steve. I, yeah. I, I, yeah Steve. I was saying that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Uh, okay. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'll take this one because I want the moon. Uh, so earth quicken 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 the earth struggles okay so it could be a defend 10 if i want but most likely i want to do the damage to add into my innate damage mm -hmm. to possibly smash some cities okay i will also take a power card minor or major minor minor i don't really have anything i want to get rid of well it's you will when you see the awesome major power and you're like yeah all these other ones aren't as good okay but i already like the start of this <laughs> so two fear Pushing push guys. up to two Explorers in towns. If target land has a blight, add two fear, push up to two more, and add a blight. Okay, I like that. Another push. Push some things around. Okay. Defend one. Remember symbols, though. Yeah, yeah but if it's a jungle or a sand, which defend jungle's four. ravaging right now, there are sands on the coast. You could defend like there with that. Don't don't negate no, that. No, if no, no. Does it have your symbols? No. Okay. But that's okay. <laughs> uh, gather... Gather three push. to Han or push up to three to Han. Okay, I see. Oh no, you do both. Yeah, you do both. This is the one that helps you move to Han like across the map very nicely. Mm -hmm. Which is great, but. So I think I. Yeah, this one goes with your symbols, like uh, all, literally all your symbols on it. It's got fear generation. It's just the problem; it'll add more blight. But if it has a blight already, yeah, then you add blight, then it spreads. You never want to really do it on a spot with blight, but sometimes for the win, it's what you might want to do. I'm kind of thinking this. The defend? Yeah, it does have the purple that I need. I don't know. Add blight is dangerous. Yeah, I agree. It is. It very much is. Yeah, I think. And I'm I haven't got go. my removing blight going yet either. I think I'm gonna go with this one to defend a little bit. Okay. Because I can. I'm do down. That. Okay, I'm down. and then I okay I did everything. So now I gain three. Oh yes. One, two, two three. three. Okay. So sorry, I can defend this one. Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, I was just for example, I, I would think something like that because the sand, but you also could defend jungle. So there's this one. If you defend here, then this guy fights back stuff, so he kills two of them. Oh, defend right now is jungle. I was talking next turn. Oh, is yeah, coastal. yeah, yeah. But I was just saying, for example, yeah. Eventually, we'll have to be defending coastal lands, which you have options. Like, it's it's not like we're not seeing cards right now that work with that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, do I hold it for next okay, turn? Okay, so jungle. Uh, it's up to you. I don't know. Well, I have this defend three on the jungle. Yeah, so there's a jungle here that's a problem. So okay, let's look. So let let's look. Let's talk. Jungle here, problem. Yeah. Jungle here, problem. Jungle here, not problem. Jungle here, not problem. So these so two, I can pop one of these if I need to, but this one's the only one with the Han. So it'd be good to defend this one so that the Han actually hits back, kills a couple of them. If we can move more to Han in, great. Same with this one. But I can stop this one from happening. But again, if we have defense, but defense is only so good unless you get the Han in there. Well, I technically could de defend both because I have a defend three and a defend four in the jungle. 
But then yep. and I next can have it defend with an eight too, so I, I could I could handle this one probably with just my an eight. Okay, so I'll play the defend four. No, but I do you have a way of moving three. to Han fast? Probably not, right? To Han fast, move to Han fast. No, not yeah. fast. Okay, that's fine. Slowly, I do. So we need to get them in the coastal lands next. Yeah. So I can play three cards. Heal on that one. Right. So you got the defense all covered pretty much. Just the one, right? I'm only defending this one. Or do you want me to do both? Uh, no, I could probably do that one with my Nate. That's okay. fine. Okay, so that's one. Try to damage some stuff, get some fear. Oh, going. I can do some pushing for next round. That's good. And now I need another. If I play this card, strength to two. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do that. One, two, three, one, two. Beautiful. Four Alchemists. Yes, now we get screwed. I don't have one with a mountain and a plant. I need. I still need to cover and cover that before I get my uh, blight removal. Thought I could do blight removal, but uh, destroying towns. I want to do this. Moon, moon. Second one. Plant, 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 plant. I need one more moon. No, I want to do this. Okay, okay, so that is my money spent. Okay, so fast powers. Uh, you are going to be able to put a presence on the board, uh, way, one away from where you have presence, or on the same spot you have a presence. So you need to make a sacred site somewhere or whatever. Uncover something to get more money or more cards played on down. Let's make... That does all those. Yep, let's do that. Okay. All right. Perfect. Uh, I can add one, which I will uncover my money. That's one here. So where in coastal lands is going to be a problem? Probably here. Okay. Yep. That's up to one away. Yep. Okay. That is done. Uh, this Fast. one, defending, oh, yep. right? I need to defend somewhere. Yep. You're going to defend uh, this one, you said, right? There's no open thing in here. Yep. Uh, I have, hold on, let me check. Yep. I have enough plant. I have one water, so I can defend for two, which is enough, right? Yep. Defend for two. Yep. Okay. okay. So then I'm going to do this one, which will generate two fear. Oh, yes. And if I'm going to target this land, if target land is mountain or jungle, defend for three. Beautiful. So, yeah, I'll defend for three there. Anything fast here with gathering? Anything? Yes. I actually have three moons and two fires. Okay. So I can destroy up to two invaders and one fear per invader destroyed at range one of a sacred site. So. So coastal lands is what's going to be a problem. Like they'll be building in, so I think I could do here. Okay. And I get one fear per guy destroyed. Okay, I'm down. Okay. All right. I can only stop building a little bit. That's okay. I I got other things. In yeah, this I'm down. I'm down. Okay, you know what you're doing. All right, so we're done. Fast powers. Yeah. All right, fear card, level two this time. Terror level two. Each player removes one explorer or town from a land with two or fewer invaders. So basically, I'm thinking where they're building next in coastal lands. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Yoink, yoink. Two or fewer invaders. Yeah, that's, yep. I'm down. <laughs> Done. Or I guess you could have also taken... We could have tag teamed that, but the thing is we have two to Han No, here. but I'm saying you could take this and leave like that one, that single guy here. But he's going to build there. Yeah, true. This will still build, but like we can okay. hopefully, like we got Dahan there. So if we do our, I have three defense cards so and then an eight that defends. So if we can defend there, we at least have Dahan to attack back. Same could be said over here too. Both both are okay, but uh, yeah, uh, we're good. All right, I think so. Okay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, uh, so 
That was Sphere. Uh, jungle. So we said defended here enough, right? Yep, three two, I defended. Two hits back. Uh, you defend three, so one gets through, hits this Dahangai, the Dahangai kills two back. Okay. This jungle up here, I defended for two. Mm -hmm. So one gets through, nobody there, whatever. Uh, nobody kills back. Uh, jungle, empty, jungle, empty. Done. Coastal land. So we get a build here. Mm. I'll attack next. No, I do kind of want them to put stuff here for if there's the Han, because if we defend again and they kill back, they'll generate more fear. Yeah. This one though, yeah, kind of don't one's... want it to build. Yeah, let's stop that one from building. The next one though, unfortunately, city time. But again, if we defend, we have two to Han. They're doing four damage back. If we get more to Han, there maybe we can do some other other crazy stuff. Uh, nobody here, nobody here, and nobody here to build. Yes. So it's just literally this coast is like a problem right now. Uh, and then explore wetlands. So this one will come out of there. This one definitely has adjacent towns or cities. And this that, one that comes one. from the coast and comes from the coast. Which oh, I thought they come from cities. Cities, towns, and the the sea. They they sail in oh, on these little ships right here. They come I thought in on those that ships. was only when it says coastal. Nope. Oh my gosh, I thought we were good. Okay. No, nope, because now those guys will build there. But at least first, here's the best part. So those two up there, for example, we just plop them down. They're gonna and, ravage next, which these Dahan just wipe them out yeah, first so before they problem. build, which is awesome. Yeah. Same with this one. No, 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 that one's not coast. We need to deal with this one and this one for build purposes. Okay, slow powers. John says, let them build in the sand and remove to prevent ravage. Let them build in the sand. Oh, I see what you're saying. So not stop the build, but stop the actual ravage. Yeah. Then it leaves building so when we actually oh, can defeat them, it's fear. Smart. Yeah, because I have the choice of stopping them from building, which in that case is kind of dumb. He's right. It's better if I stop like this little guy from building, for example, because then the attack doesn't do anything later. So yeah. stopping the build is kind of good. But in this situation, it's already out of control, so might as well just stop the ravage. Yeah. He's right. He's right. Yeah. Still learning this guy. Still learning this guy. But yeah, that's correct. Uh, All right, we got some slow things happening. Yes. So I got some. What do we got here? I have two moons. Three. I can do two damage basically in a spot I'm in and destroy a town. Mm. What's happening? Coastal's attacking next. So if I'm looking at the coast here, I can destroy a town here or destroy a town here. Um, okay. So Both good. Here. I'll destroy here. And we get a fear. Nice. So that is me using this innate twice because I have enough uh, powers for it. I also could push three to Han or one town. Does that work with anything you're doing? Uh, I got some replacing and pushing as well. So once you do that, I'll see what's going on. Uh, but if you push. Wetlands, we need to build. Mm. What can you push? Uh, I can push a town. So I can get this one out of here, and if we defend here, these guys fight back and wipe it. Well, I can actually change this into a town, if that's helpful. Well, I don't think it matters. That still would outnumber what mm, they have there. Okay. Well, then I can do it here. Yeah. And then I can true. push a town out. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Yeah. Unless there's some Dahan somewhere else you'd think I should push instead, but I'll go with no, that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so I will do first this one here, uh, which does two fear. Oh, boom, another fear card. So I have to target where I have a presence. I will replace one city to a town. Okay, and then this one I can do any range. Any player, any player. Any player, so two more fear. Target Spear may push one invader and one 
town from a land where it has presence. So I could push another one of these out of here. I think here might be okay because then we don't have to worry about it. Because if we push one out, mm -hmm. then when they go to attack, just one dies, no Dahan die. Okay. Here I want to defend. Here I might just pop this so it doesn't happen. Okay, okay, so then I'll do that. Uh, those we don't have to worry about fighting or building. No, Wetlands, so. this will be a problem for building, this will be a problem for building. And but then we can push one of them out so that they don't build. That's helpful. I might be able to defend here and here though. Let me so check. then let me yeah. do... Yeah, I can. Yeah, so worry about a wetlands, I think. So let me That's do this build. one. Yep. This one's going to build, but... Yeah, at yeah. least but it we has got Dahan some, there. Yeah. And, and, and the other so. ones all have Dahan there. So yep. I think that's good. So okay. that is that one. All right. Okay. Uh, ready these guys up. Get your little tokens back. All right. What am I doing? What am I doing? So I'm going to move my last presence off my board, which is awesome. Oh, I can also defend jungle. Actually, or sand. Oh, I can defend sand. Okay. So hold on. i got to figure out what I'm doing, though, first. Okay. All right, so I'm going to gain three money and gain a power card. I'm going to look for a major power. Mm -hmm. Oh, big We got tsunami, more fear, eight damage, destroyed to, to the haunt. Oh, God. Let me just look at symbols. Let me see. I just have water. That was moon. Two damage per blight in target land, plus one damage per blight in adjacent lands. And I can repeat, but I, I won't have that many moons or mountains. Add one presence in target land if you normally could not due to land type. Well, that's too late for that. Defend 20, though. Oh, my God. Oh, here we go. Destroy all explorers and all towns, but also destroy all Dahan. And if I have enough moons and... Yeah, I'm going to take the jungle hungers because this kind of like fills in a weakness I have. And then if I do have enough moons and plants, which I definitely have enough plants, moons I can do too, because this card has moons and plants on it, I can destroy a city and don't destroy any Dahan. So I should be able to, to avoid the negative. Now pop in a presence isn't an issue. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I'll get rid of that. Uh, or I'll take that. I'll put these here. And then you said, where's that? Uh, you still have stuff on your board. Yeah, but I'm going to get rid of but one I do right like the now, other but I'm one. fine. I have tons of money. I have, I have yeah. lots. I'm, I'm going to toss this Gift of Proliferation. Oh, this is one of my cards. I don't know if I tossed my other one here. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one for the presence. I still want to keep the one that gives fear from my deck. Keep that one, even though I might not be able to afford it too much. Uh, and then I gain three more. Okay. I'm going to gain... A major. Major? Major, yeah. Here we go. All right. What do we got? What do we got? All right, we got... Accelerated Rot. Two fear, two fear four, four damage, damage. Jungle wetland, and wetlands. Okay. If I have all these symbols, plus five damage, damage. and a little blight. We don't really get sun, so... No. Okay, let's see. All right. So fast. Dahan have plus four health while in a target land. Whenever blight would be added to a target land, instead leave it on the card. Ooh. If I have four mountains... The Dahan ignore damage and destruction effects. Remove one blight from target or adjacent land. That's I was pretty good. Have four mountains to do that I don't know how much mountains I have, so let's just take a quick peek. Probably like none. One. Just one. You'll never do it. I, two I have, actually. You'll never do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then we have one damage and defend two per Dahan in target land. I like stuff like this. That's fast and it only costs two, but I you have, have to target where there's Dahan, which makes sense. Okay. And then... Oh, that like looks like a, that looks like your kind of card. <laughs> Two fear, push up to four invaders or towns. If I have four <gasps> suns, which I do, four I moons, put, moons, <laughs> four moons. It's getting late. We're gonna have to end the stream Plus, soon, so I'm gonna go to bed. Fear. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna take this one. So I'll get yeah, those. Yeah, I like that one a lot. That goes and with your 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 jam there. So I have to unlearn a card. Probably one of your starter ones. Flip over your cards. Look at the art on the back. And start getting rid of one of these ones, probably unless well, one of your miners doesn't really work anymore. Or doesn't use something. Remember, you can get out of your discard pile too. 
Yeah, but I like... You still like all these. Yeah, Don't I worry like about those. them. Those are the ones I play a lot. Uh, it's going to be either that one. Yeah, that one doesn't have yeah. your symbols on it. Yeah. That's fine. It's just kind of the yeah, one I that took. One down okay. That, one. that makes sense. Uh, so I did that. Now I will add a presence. So let's add a presence. One space away. Uh, I don't know. Let's put a presence here. Looks good. Then I will get four. Okay. I really want to play that new card I just got. Well. No, nothing. Oh. I'm just looking at yeah. I just what you're saying. Okay. Uh, all right. You have so much economy over there. I know. I'm a little jelly, but I'm okay. Okay, I'm gonna play the new one. Yeah. Okay, so what were we talking? Uh, coastal lands. Oh yeah, I can defend. Uh, I can defend this one with my Nate probably. I can defend the sand for four. So you got this one. Yeah. Uh, but two still does a blight. You need more two defend there. Two still does a blight. So I could do this one. Here, defend for six. And then I can replace a town with an explorer. Okay, because if I can do... I can also stop it from even doing anything. Okay, then What how... else is the other symbol? Sand or jungle? Yeah, but if you've you got... You can defend here. Right, but if I don't need to, then I can play these cards yeah. and uh, have all on. four. So let me see. My need to defend here. I just need uh, two plants and water. Done. So this one I defend. This one I defend. Okay. Now this one. Hold on. Can I slide this in? That one... I'm just going to play these for the symbols so then I can get the extra four fear and I can play four cards. I'm going to do two and two like that. One, two, one, two, each. I'm just going to change that to three small ones. One, two, three. One and one. Okay. That do Destroy all these children. Four. Oh, I have no fire. Yeah, I'll do this. Okay, so three for this, one for this. Okay, so fast powers. This one I'm doing for sure. We're defend. We're getting a fear. Okay, uh, defend six, and that was here. Mm -hmm. So defend six. And then replace a town with an explorer, basically, is what I'll do there. Okay. Weaken them a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, then I can do defend 10. I'll defend 10 here with fast power. Okay. And then I will for... One, two water, three, one, two, three. So I can do defend two uh, here. Nice. <laughs> okay, so with Holding my... down the coast. <laughs> with this fast power that I can do, um, I will generate one fear. Uh, yeah. And then I will say this one, the Dahan do not take damage. Uh, I'm already defending, but sure. But then they just won't die. And I'm already defending, so they won't die at all. <laughs> sure, okay. it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't know where it matters. Because these... Oh, still this one, maybe? Sure. I don't know. It, You're it right. doesn't matter. I'm only playing for the symbol, so it I doesn't know, know. really it's matter. Fine. So let's as long just... As long as we got the fear, sure. we're good. <laughs> let's just say that. Okay. Then I have this one. So two fear. Mm -hmm. So this one is at range two. I can push up to four. So you can target a land up to two spaces away from where you have presence. Yeah. And in that land, you can push up to four explorers or towns out of it. And they can go to different adjacent lands. Okay. So you can break up parties. And did you play four moons? So you yep. get extra fear? Yep, that's Okay, so do we do the two fear for it yet? Yeah. Okay. Should have, because I did that first. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to do that and then this. Uh, let's do... That defend 10 is range zero. Oh, is it? From a sacred site. Oh, crappy, you're right. Uh, do I have to flip something here? So I could defend six here and ten here then, right? Yeah, which is still good. Because I have a sacred site there. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Other way around. So then I have to do undo the thing I did with the explorer. And then instead it would be here, right? Mm -hmm. Where I flip this city. To a town? Into a town. Thank you nice. so much. Thanks, Steve. Yeah. Okay. The intention so was correct. Just then... <laughs> not executed correctly. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I could push out of 
it's up to four, but I could push something out of the water. So it doesn't Out of the build. wetlands? Yeah. Uh, that's where it's going to build, but yeah. we know these guys are dead and dead. Okay. And dead. This guy's dead. There's no one home, so that doesn't really matter. Just try to get rid of... I don't know. It doesn't really matter right Wait, now. Wait, you said I could push them... Like, if I pushed one and one, because you said I can push them into different lands, right? Yeah, but the problem is if you put a second one there, they're going to add blight, which will put a blight there and another blight in an adjacent spot, oh, and then we flip the card over. You're right. Okay. So you don't want to put them mind. where they're going to attack. I think I'm just going to leave them, everything as is. It's all good. We just want to Yeah, it's because you don't know, like, really what's coming. Yeah. But... Okay. And then because I have four moons, I uh, will hold get... Hold on. I'm defending for here for six. If you want to do it here, you can push this in here and I can destroy two towns. Okay. And if you want to push this in there, that can probably be defeated later. Okay. And this well, one. Yeah, I can do that. Up to four. Yeah. Uh, no, we'll leave that guy. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. And then I play four moons, so I get four fear. Yeah. So we'll leave two in the pot. And we get another card. Okay. So that's that. And I don't have enough. I don't have a fire to play my innate. Okay, so we're so, done all the fast. Yeah, done all the fast. Okay, so now we go fear cards. We flip them over and do them. Still in level two. Still level two. Yep. Each player chooses a different land with Dahan. One damage per Dahan there, which is so amaze balls that I just push these guys all into these places. So if I chose, uh, hold on, we want to get rid of the like all the cities and towns, right? Because that'll be the next. One damage per Dahan there. Okay. Well, I could do. Like, this is already going to take care of here. It's too bad that we're in Tahan here. Um, one damage per Tahan. Yeah, you might as well do that one for sure. Because that's three, and then we get a fear, right? Because yep, it says... Yep, absolutely. Okay. One damage, yep. Okay. And then this one, they'll hit... I could just kill one of the towns now, and then it just wipes that out. Or these ones will get killed already. This one will get killed already. Then there's here, but that's only one damage. That's not enough. I like this one. Sure. Uh, let's do a town. Another fear. Okay. All right. So that's the first card. Second card. Defend six in all coastal lands. Oh, boy. That's a good timing one. After I just spent all my defend <laughs> cards. Stupid deck. Uh, invaders do not build in coastal lands this turn. So the wetlands. They wouldn't have built anyways. Yeah, we had it under control. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, that's good. Not all cards means, are going to be a winner. Yes. That means we're doing great. <laughs> Thanks for your deck. All right. Uh, so now so, we go to here. I'll move that. I think nothing is going to happen here. Coastal lands. Uh, so here, defend. He kills back. Yep. Okay. Here, uh, was defend. This was the 10 defend one. So we're good. Six hits, fully defended. Yep. Okay. Plus, oh, plus uh, the six that. Take that, that off. Gave. We'll take that off. Uh, this one was six defense. So we're good. And then these guys hit back for four. We get another fear from a town being destroyed. Coastal lands appear. Uh, we get a trade one for one and one for one. We'll tilt those little mushrooms over. Okay. And that's coastal lands done. Oh, never mind. It was defend six in all coastal lands, right? So these guys don't even take. Oh, yeah, yeah. They technically don't even take a hit. <laughs> My God. The mushrooms are safe. Overkill. All right. Uh, wetland build time. No build here. There is a build here. Uh, no build there, no build there. Okay. Okay. That's done. And explore. Sand. Uh, yeah, we got a party on the beach over here in the sand and a party on the beach over here. All right. <laughs> and a base guy. No party, no party. Oh, what am I doing? I'm exploring? Yeah. There's nobody No around? party is happening on sure? my side. Yeah, There's... wow. My, Look at uh, this. My island's looking pretty good. Hey, hey, side. hey. <laughs> just I, kidding. I can't do anything about these explorers. They're all hanging out on my island because <laughs> island, I can't do anything about them. No, but that's good. That's why the spirit that shows sphere cards is so good. Yeah. Oh, that's one that leaves it uh, Yes. Up? They, they got me to play it the one day. Oh, my. It was so good. Oh, I'd like yeah, to try that. Because, yeah, you could just see it. You could see a whole bunch. And then, and plan then you, for Yeah, it. you're just, like, working that turn. You're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me push them here and move them there. And, like, yeah, that was awesome. I do. That was one of my favorite uh, guys to play. Yeah, bringer of... Bringer of dreams and nightmares. He's hard to play, but pretty strong dude with oceans on your ass. Mm. Mm. But he was awesome. Playing him solo, I had so much fun with that guy. Okay, we should try that combo out one time. Yes. Those All guys right. are both very, uh, they're both um, 
what do you call them? High complexity or whatever. Okay. They're both like the more we'll, complicated ones in the set for we'll sure. We'll practice them off screen a couple They're times. not, we'll be fine, but they are just like an extra level to them. It's yeah. kind of cool. Okay. Uh, okay. So we... Slow. Slow powers. Didn't name him as I was describing, but you're correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Hmm. Some damage. Why do I have to four to have? So I can do some damage together. We have sand problem happening next and a water problem. Okay, so sand. So wetlands. Wetlands are going to ravage. This one's kind of an issue. No, I got this one here. Let me do this first. So I can replace, but anyways, I have if I have two moons, which I do, you may re instead replace this with a Dahan. So that's taken care of, right? And that is one range away, and it has Dahan there already. So yeah. yes. Yeah. Yep, that okay. one's good. Uh, okay. So other wetlands are cut clear. Okay. So the sand, uh, I can. Sand. Uh, it's not much, but I can here. I can deal one damage uh, to all the towns, because it's one away from a sacred site, it's on a sacred site, and it's a sand. And then here, I could do one damage to a town with my innate because I have one moon and a bunch of plants. Mm -hmm. So I'll just kill one of them and we get a fear for that. Kay. So that's me. So I have this one where I can gather four to Han if invaders are present and to Han outnumber them, I gain three fear. So I could just do this. Here, here. No, but don't I have to choose? I have to. Gather up. Oh. So one away from where you have presence. You literally gather. have presence here. And you can gather. You pick the land. Here, I'll gather from here. And here. I would gather all four. Uh, you could. I don't need all four, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do, because they need to outnumber. That, that, that's what I would oh, do. Oh, because there's guys lying down. Yeah, they count, too. Correct. Okay. Okay, so that's three. I'm pretty sure, then. right? Is it outnumber like. If invaders are present and Dahan outnumber them. I'm pretty sure it adds two for each one. So that's eight to. Five. I thought it was physical, so like might, one to one. It might be. I don't know. It might be. Either way, that four covers it. Okay. And they will build there again. And if we let them build, that's fine, because then we have eight guys to hit back after we defend on the coast again. Hey, Dylan, how's it going? First time watching live. Found your channel through the Tainted Grail playthrough. Keep doing a good job. Oh, hey, so keep much. watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Thank thanks you. for being here. Um, all right. Okay. So I think then that's good. So th they are outnumbered. So we will put in three more fear. So leave one in the pool and another card. And that card will put us to terror level three. Oh, my God. If there are no cities, we win instantly. We win. We win. Yes. Woo! All right. Smoked it. Yeah, it's definitely a fear, fear-ish kind of win. Not a complete fear win. I think a fear win is like getting all the way out of the fear deck, which I've done, I think, once. But yeah. One to one need four. Oh, okay. Okay. One one. So it's okay, actually that's what I thought. physical that's what I thought. models. Yeah. That's the way I it seemed played, like it was worded. I always played that way, but then I was just thinking like, wait, does it mean like combat outnumber? Like, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. So we did need to gather all four in there. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're definitely rocking it there. The explorers are having a party on my island. Yeah, they were like... <laughs> but you said the, that in the yeah. game. That's so funny. Yeah, because I can't destroy it. It says right on the back of the sheet. It's like, uh, where is it? Fairly good at dealing with towns, but terrible at handling explorers. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> There's like so many of them. That's funny. That's why I said if you can destroy explorers in this game or if I can find a card that does it, but I literally didn't find it till just now and I haven't even played it yet where I can destroy all um, explorers. So I could have like maybe moved this guy out or just destroyed all of that there, like clearing off that, yeah. destroy all of that there. Like I could have started targeting these lands without Dahan, getting rid of all explorers. And I debated playing it that last turn, but I, I thought the other ways were, were better to play. But yeah, that's that was uh, good. That was fun. Yeah, you like the game? Yeah, I do. I do. And what do you think about this guy playing him for the first time there? Um, I like this guy. I like his stats a lot. Like, I always felt like I had money. Yeah. Which is good, too, because you need <laughs> to spend feel nice. it. Yeah. I know. I had that one card. I never, ever used it, either. The one that let me I, give you yeah, presents. Yeah, we never even, or, never even got uh, it going. Energy. Which was fun. I managed myself. Because I can clear off my board so quick, so I start eventually getting, like, just enough money. But it does. it is a problem with this guy having not enough resources, I feel. That when I look at certain expensive cards too, I was just like totally ignoring them. Bigger powered ones, I would just throw away. Yeah, it's crazy. You have to get all the way to the end to get three. I, I only know. have to get here to get three. So I have to do this one it's like crazy. every few turns. I have to pop three and inject my money if I can't find a card to help, help Yeah, me. I feel like I always had a lot of money. 
So I like that, yeah. And I love the whole fear thing. Cause I, um, does the game give you extra fear and you divide it up? Or are you always working with the same fear cards? Oh, the fear cards? Yeah. Yeah, there's like uh, 10 extra oh, that okay. aren't, aren't in there okay. right now. Yeah, you shuffle it up every time. And then so they it's all different. and they also come in a different order. Yeah, you'll have just different ones in here. So like sometimes I play through and like even if I'm doing not well, I just a whole bunch of them will come off and they don't help me at all and it's annoying. But then sometimes you get like you're doing so well, they're coming off and not doing anything. But because you're just you have the island under control. Yeah. So it's like, oh, OK, it doesn't help me. But I'm already like it's because I have most places cleared or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, definitely tons of replayability in this game. Just yeah. on the core set. It's insane. Like just these power decks. We didn't even get through them all. And like every time you're just drawing and you grabbing and based on what's happening in the situation. And what your what your guy What is. your guy does, what your elements are, what your what weakness you're trying to fill in, or what, what ability you're already good at that you're trying to strengthen your strategy. Like I love that option. Like yeah. you can play with the same spirit and sometimes you can just find cards that help fill in the weakness or just help make them more powerful or just round them out. Oh man, I love it. But sometimes you draw stuff that's like you're looking for literally need one water and you draw four and it's like there's not a single water on the card. <laughs> draw the next four, not a single water on the card. Or the one that says water is like something totally not unplayable that you would never ever use. Uh, but that's part of the fun of it is trying to like work with what you're given. And I like games that do that where you're trying to solve the puzzle. Deal with what pieces they gave you. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, we have not ever played with Branch and Claw. We have it pre-ordered right now. We haven't ordered on an order that's got Wingspan on it that's pre-ordered so we don't get the whole order until Wingspan comes in and hopefully that hits Canada soon. I know it started hitting retailers in the U.S. so it should show up here shortly. Uh, it introduces random elements which I really like makes it more unpredictable. Yeah, the event deck, yeah. right? That's one thing I want to try out too. And the, obviously the new spirits and the new, uh, like the tokens that go on the board and stuff like that and the new setup. Um, but yeah, there's lots of branch of claw. I looked it up and I was like, yeah, and the first time I played this game on stream within like 10 minutes. There was like five people in the chat were like, where's Branch and Claw? How come you don't have Branch and Claw? <laughs> this is the year 2020. Where's Branch and Claw? I'm like, I just got the game. I just got the game. Yeah, but it's uh, coming. But yeah, we Eventually. got it. Thanks to the recommendations of you guys. They, they told me right away, like, go get it. It's super good. So I looked into it, and yeah, it looks super good. So I'll get it. And then I'll start harassing the publisher trying to get Jagged Earth eventually is what the <laughs> idea is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so bah. love Spirit Island. So good. Um, but I think that's going to be it for the stream. Thanks for everyone tuning in live. If you're watching this later, you don't want to miss this live. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, so you don't miss when our next live streams go up. Follow us on social media up there in the right. I usually post on there before we go live. Uh, so you don't miss it, at least on Facebook and Twitter. And then I post like random pictures and stuff on Instagram when I remember. Uh, but yeah. And if you'd like to support us on Patreon, like some of the people in the chat do that are awesome to help keeping us going, help get new games on the channel, upgrading equipment, doing this full time. Uh, you can hit the Patreon link down below. There's also a PayPal link if you want to donate. Thanks to everyone who's donated to the channel uh, to keep us going. If you like the work we do, uh, we appreciate it. Any little bit helps. It doesn't matter. Like, yeah, I'm very content with with small amounts of money. You're very great. <laughs> but anyways, more importantly, subscribe. So that, that supports the channel a lot. It's free. And hit that like button. That yes. helps other people find these videos on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, I'll be live streaming. Uh, so this weekend, we are filming our eighth episode of Scythe. Uh, so we have that. That'll be posted hopefully on the weekend if anyone's cared or follow along in that series. Uh, we're doing the Rise of Fenris campaign. We have we played through it on live stream, did a whole bunch in a day. Everyone watched that. And then I cut them up later, post them on YouTube. So they're in a playlist uh, on the channel. Dylan, oh, Dylan thank, thank you. you. Dylan, you're awesome. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, we did the Scythe Rise of Fenris. We're playing through that right now. We just have to do the final episode. So we have the uh, Nick and Ashley, uh, and my brother-in-law, coming over uh, to play. And... Uh, we'll film that eighth final who will be the winner of Rise of Fenris episode. We'll film that. And I'll post that later. I'll edit it all up. Uh, and then we're going to do our next in our series of Sword and Sorcery we're going to film this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, at least the next one. Yep. So we're on to quest number three in Sword and Sorcery. If you like Sword and Sorcery or curious about dungeon crawling fantasy games, uh, we started playing through that. We're going to try to play through the whole campaign. Maybe even some of the side quest stuff. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. If you guys keep watching it, we'll keep playing it. So check out that. That's in a playlist. Also at Rob's Gaming Table. And yeah, I'll schedule some live streams for next week. So watch out for that stuff. I just don't know what yet. I uh, just had a package drop today at the house with some, uh, let's just say I got a couple of boxes with the word. Boom, they sent them over. So we'll have some of them on the channel. They're super cool for doing that. We appreciate that. Uh, they obviously liked our other Aeons and playthroughs uh, and thought you guys, you know, responded to them well. So that's cool. So anyways, I got that to look forward to. So we'll have more Spirit Island coming up on the channel eventually too. That definitely got to play more of this with Invaders. We'll have Branch and Claw coming. So tons of tons of more content coming up to the channel. Uh, but Mel has to get to bed because she has a real job to work in the morning. Uh, and yeah, I got to move some 
Got to move all the equipment around to set up for our scythe filming tomorrow. So, uh, and I got to read some more Aeon Zen rulebook stuff. So that'll be fun tomorrow. But anyways, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you in the next stream or the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.